welcome to a filthy quest line presents Mork Borg. This is not an average Dungeons and Dragons game. This is something a little different. Light on rules, heavy on gross, or whatever. We're picking gross. We're obviously in a heavy metal mood today. Um, uh, today we're actually coming from the traditional lands of the Squamish territory. Uh, we, we are privileged, privileged to work, play, and create here. Uh, we, I, I suggest you look up where tri what traditional lands you are on and uh, you know make some good out of that. Um, today, what do we got? We're doing Mork Borg. It's something a little different. Uh, I already said that, but that's okay. Let's just jump right into it. That was the intro. That was the <laughs> intro, guys. I didn't have that planned. I should have planned Beautiful. that Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Nailed it. All right. Let's do it. One day, all will blacken and burn. Just as the two-headed basilisk have predicted, the world is dying. Time is short. How will you face these last days? Robbing graves for soil-stained soil wealth or facing down the apocalypse, hoping it can be fought? We start. The four of you have been, you are all refugees. The world around what is left of the world has been slowly being pushed into a center point uh, around uh, an area called Graventosk, where things have been really bad. Every, there's not much going on. There's outside of the world is burning. There are ravagers, war plagues, uh, just places you vile, vile things happening outside the world. And you're, everyone's being pushed inwards. You four have ended up at an unnamed village. People don't have time to care what their name is, where, where they live anymore. They and have become uh, fixtures in this village uh, because you have a certain set of skills. Um, you have been, because of your set of skills, you have been sent out on a quest to gather the simple resource of water. You have no water. This village has no water. There is probably about you know, 150, 200 people in this village and there is no water left. So you four have been set out to, on a quest to collect water. You have failed. Uh, unfortunately, there, you got the next, the village next who had a well, the, the well has also become septic and fetid. Uh, and the water is undrinkable as well. Uh, the four of you are, have been gone for, it's, it's taken you about a week of harsh travel to get to where, to there and back. And you have, on the way back, you, it's been a long day of travel. You've camped outside the village. Um, do you want to introduce your players? Let's yeah. start with Lauren. My name is Tark. I'm a sacrilegious songbird. I deal with struck while dreaming in a disremembered ditch. Always the bringer of unwelcome sounds. My vocation as a bard has less be destitute and disreputable until a rueful day when a being of impious character made, a deal, made me a deal for a lifetime. My soul may be screaming, but my throat sings sweetly. And my purse even sweeter. A small price to pay. I'm shallow and brutal. I have a rotting face. Sometimes I wear a mask. This is my child. Don't ask questions about it. He's very sensitive. His name is Hal. I will talk about anybody who's just left the room. I don't have a problem with that. I escaped a cult. I'm terrified and paranoid. What did you say about me? There's other occultists everywhere. And that's all I have to say. And you, so your character name was what, sorry? Tark. Tark. T-A-R-K? That's correct. Got it. Next will be Josh. My name is Dump Truck. <laughs> Dump Truck. Well, my friends call me Groomer, which none of you are. 
dump truck it is. As a child, I was dumped into a moving shit cart still at birth call. An ill star smiled upon my birth. Poverty, crime, and bad parenting didn't help either. In my community, an honest day's work was never an option. Not that you ever tried. What am I? Some kind of mug? A razor blade and a moonless night are worth a week of chump work. Ruthless. Mannerless. Crooked forever. Terrified of being alone. <laughs> it's okay, Josh. You'll, you'll be fine. We all, we all, we all, we all die alone anyways. Sorry, so. Uh, next up, Ash. Our first timer, everyone. Never played. No. Nope. Tabletop. Doesn't really like being on camera. It's, it'll, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Um, it won't be fine. Who are you playing today? My name is Familiar Echoes the Moon. Oh. I was hatched from an egg laid by a bog witch in a wasteland swamp. My stress response is to create aesthetic wonder upon myself, so the more difficult things get, the more fabulous I become. Um, I lurk on the fringes, fringes of settlements, observing, judging, and rarely interacting. Fundamentally other, and I belong nowhere. I have bouts of incoherent madness and self-destructive rages, but mostly, I simply wait in solitary resignation for that, which is inevitable. Oh, and I, I'm, I'm covered in eyes, also. Covered in <laughs> eyes. Covered in eyes, eyes. I have so many eyes. Eyeballs? Yeah. Delicious. Do they have eyelids? Uh, some of them, okay. but not all of them, unfortunately. Oh, that's weirder. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Julian. My name is Bismuth the Basic. <clears throat> Bismuth the Basic? Yeah. <laughs> basic Bismuth. Yeah, just Basic Bismuth. <clears throat> I don't trust no one more than my teeth. That's pretty much all you need to know about me. <laughs> <laughs> my teeth are all I trust. Oh, and I have a, a gore hound named Charles. Charles. Yeah. Um, can you describe this gore hound for us? <clears throat> uh, it's kind of like uh, what you'd imagine like a hell hound is, but rather than like flames kind of emanating from its body, it's just kind of like bloody gore oozing out of its body. Not in a way that looks like it's dying, just in a way that it looks like it's oozing. Oh, gross. Yeah, <laughs> gross. I don't have a mini for your. For your I know. Job. I that was last yeah, minute. I figured that one out before. Um, yeah, usually we're like really spot on with minis, but <laughs> obviously the team spent a lot of time close enough on this lovely thing and other lovely things that you shall soon see. But so you, you have a dog. You got a dog. Yeah. You got a dog. Anyone else got any pets? No animals. <laughs> I hate a baby. No, no. How? Just your weird. He's a pig head that I carry head. around, but he's also my son. Gross. Don't ask questions about it. I mean. <laughs> I love him very much. There might be there might be some questions later on that. No, I won't answer questions we'll, about we'll my son. That, it's we'll very it, embarrassing. We'll let it slide for now. Okay, what do we got? Uh, okay, so you've all spent the night. Um, you're exhausted. It's been a tough slug. It's not. It's it's tough life out there. Uh, there's. Swamps have been getting worse. The weather is non-existent. It is just terrible. You literally have not, the sun has not been out. No one's seen the sun in a year-ish. Uh, and obviously the wildlife is, you know, vegetation can't grow. Things are starting to get really gross. Uh, one of the things in Morkborg is uh, the, there's a, a thing called the calendar of Necrobel where, allow me to, my sweet Morkborg book. Uh, it's really what happens is every day, or not every day, in a certain set of days, pre-roll, dice, blah, 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 something of a biblical catastrophe happens. So we're going to do that right now. <laughs> While you sleep, something real bad goes down. So uh, Pink or green? What do you think? Pink or green? Green. 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 Got it. Let's see. Oh, we need D6. Three. And... Four. Okay. Uh, from the calendar of Necrobell. Verse three, uh, what is it? Verse three? Line four? No, how, how do you say that there? Uh, what's the biblical way to say it? Psalm three, Psalm three, Psalm three. Psalm. verse four. That's it. <laughs> uh, the great shall be made poor, and the poor, poorer still. 
uh, I'm not sure who we were talking about the other day, but this one came up. Uh, immediately, reduce your silver by half. Oh, oh. Cool. My, my precious, precious silver. My Ouch. Precious silver. Yep. Didn't have much to begin with. So uh, going through your goods and preparing for the next day, as you, you notice your purses are all significantly lighter. And upon inspection, uh, there is just kind of a sludgy, just kind of oily film at the bottom uh, covering what is left of your silver. So how much you did everybody lose? We've mm. been robbed and they gave us sludge instead. Uh, I, lost I lost 45 silver. 54 co- silver coins. Is it edible? I mean, <laughs> you could try. What do you want, what do you want to find out? Give me a taste. Just a little taste, you just put it on your tongue. Um, yeah, it tastes like, uh, like pencil lead and like motor oil. I wouldn't, it's not good. Can't eat it. So, mm. the first, that's our, our misery is down. Next up, what do we got? All, all things considered, that wasn't that bad. And <laughs> we could have all lost eyes exactly. or something, yeah. yeah. It's true. Again, for you, wouldn't have been that bad, but. For him, would have been <laughs> real bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, so, you know, you, you this terrible discovery, well, terrible, I guess. It could be worse, I guess. Like, you're out of some cash, but no big deal. Uh, you return back to the village that you have left, been gone for a week, and find it empty. There's no one around, no, there's signs of struggle everywhere, but no bodies to be found until you reach the exit of the village, the end of the, the north side of the village, sorry, south side of the village, where we would be leading up to the, t- uh, towards would be the temple of Necrobel, where there is a temple that you know a couple kilometers away from the village um, that has been, they're, they're, the cultists there are strange and you know from rumors that there's been, they, you know, there's been human sacrifice, uh, in general, unholy tomfoolery in that area. Uh, do you guys want to look around the village? Let's find out about this unholy tomfoolery is all about. I want to go to the church. Is there, well, does it seem like the struggle led to the church? Yeah, there's not, there's just a lack of people, but toward when you, as you get to the south side of the village, there seems to be a little bit more of, you know, there's things that broke, oh, overturned carts, um, mm. Do- burnt, uh, kicked in doors smashed windows if they had glass to begin with. Would the people have known that we already failed at finding water or would the townspeople not have known? No, they didn't know. No, okay. this is the you, you mm-hmm. where you all took off um, and came back. I wouldn't mind doing a wee poke around for any like left behind goods. I know everyone's really poor, but you know. Yeah, there's, um, Kate, let's, uh, let's see, do a roll. Every, do you all want to look around? Sure. Have a Everybody boot? want to look around? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, everybody give me a presence check, please. A present, test your presence. In Morkborg, it's a little different. Everyone rolls a d20, but you're, really, you're trying to beat a set, uh, a set number. So uh, 12 would be that average number, the set number. Um, I will adjust as I see fit. But uh, yeah, this one should be relatively easy. Everybody beat a 10. Ooh, I got a 10. Lauren. Uh, well, it's a good thing I have a modifier. I have a total of two. Two, okay, so you're just kind of like, you're, you look around, mm-hmm. you're not really paying attention, you're too busy talking to your pig head. Julian. Uh, I rolled a 10. You rolled a 10. Yeah. Um, you find, you find a corpse. We'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> three. A three. You as well have just been kind of like, you're creeped out by the pig head and you know, we don't like her used... either. Josh, what'd you get? I roll myself a 19. 19. Okay, you find a corpse as well. Um, do you want to talk to the pig head and see what's going on there? Or did, I, did I interrupt something? No, I just... Familiar Echoes the Moon is staring at the pig head with 
about a third of their eyes, which is more than they use for, for most things, and just staying cautiously away. No. Just what would, kinda what would a th- tremble. Don't tremble. What would a third of eyes be? Lives. The head. Just a little. Our team has amazingly nice. found a mm-hmm. dog. Charlie? Uh, Charles. 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 <laughs> Charles. Okay, you're here. That's you, right? Yep. That's your guy there? We'll just, don't look at this. This isn't happening yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, uh, so, sorry. Mm-hmm. Talk to the pig. Good to go. Uh, with the, the high rolls, you do find two bodies of two of the, uh, say, at least more capable individuals of the village. The, they would be town guards if that was a thing, um, but there are two of the people that knew how to swing a sword. Uh, their, uh, well, their names are, what did I write down here? Harmug, you find Harmug, and you find Vatan. Vatan. And uh, they're poked full of holes. What was that? Harmug. The dead Har- bodies, the five. Har- yeah. H-A-R. And they're poked full of holes? Harmug, yeah. Harmug. Doesn't matter, he's dead. No, that's not his name. It's a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Did they poke full of holes? Uh, yeah, they're both, they've been chopped up. They're dead. They're okay. totally yeah. dead bodies. They've got like, they have all their pieces on them, but they are totally dead. Um, they would be the only people almost left around that you know save for a handful of maybe others that would be any way capable of defending the rest of the villagers who are all just, just they're just walking skeletons really at this point. They're, they haven't had, because there's no water. So people aren't doing really good when you left. And you've been gone for a week. Uh, you had some, you did have water with you. Most likely you all have some water, skin. water yes. supply. Yes, water yeah. skin and food um, for two days. You, that we'll say that maybe you picked that, that water up outside in a small creek, but it wasn't enough to supply anything more than a, a couple people. Uh, so yeah, you find two, uh, two corpses, uh, mm-hmm. both kind of leading at the southern edge of the village. Um, Is there, uh, like, are we able to like investigate as far as knowledge on what killed them, or is that different? Uh, I mean, yeah, let's, uh, give me another, um, give me another presence roll. Uh, 16. 16. They've been stabbed many times. By, like, a blade or something? By a blade, yeah. 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 Nothing, they got, he's been stabbed a bunch. Who cool. is closer to me? Is it, is, uh, I mean, these it's two? up to you, it's up to you guys. Where, how do you, you're, you're kind of, like, gathering at the end of the village at the moment. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to go to, what was your name? Dump truck? (laughs) Yeah, dump truck. You must loot the corpse, check the corpse. There could be weapons, there could be food, there could be water. Look, look, look at the, look. Why are you not looking at the corpse? Loot the corpse. I'm in the high ground right now. I'm watching our backs. Get someone else to loot it. Uh, I'll loot the corpse, can I loot the corpse? I'll loot the corpse, can I take some stuff? I'll watch your back. Can I loot the corpse? Yeah. Well, right. um, you are looking at Harmug. Uh, y- yes. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, I mean, roll roll twenty. See what you get. Uh, any modifiers from? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, I guess this will be presence again. Oh crap! Uh, botch. <laughs> oh, you got a one. I fully botched. Uh, <laughs> hold on. There's something for that. Oh. Oh crap! You've already mm, screwed yourself. Six. You got greedy. This is why I'm on the hard ground. One. Uh, okay, well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, you find, you find a map. Oh. Um, what is it about? Yeah, there's, there's a couple notes jotted down in the way it's to, uh, to someone's house. Okay. Great. Map to a house. Got it. Yeah. Tark wanders up to uh, Bismuth, crouches down beside the body, and just kind of like gets her spear out, just kind of gives it a little poke. Uh, I'll, yep. turn, I'll turn to them and I'll say, um, <clears throat> it was a blade that pierced their flesh. Must have been a man, not creature, that slain these folk. Who could have done this? Who hates a village full of starving peasants that were days away from death anyways? You do know the... Cultists. That story the corpse does not tell. You do know the cultists of Necrobel do make 
human mm-hmm. sacrifices. And, and they're real close? They, well, that, that is the, yeah, they're the closest. Mm-hmm. They're, that's the, 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 the Church of Necrobell is a, a kilometer or so outside yeah. of the village. And they have a history of raiding the village? And- uh, no, but they're, it's been a, they've never physically raided the village before, but uh, there's some, you know, there's like, they're creepy dudes living down the end of the block and right. everybody knows that they're up to some shit and they just kind of keep their distance but you are everyone is very aware that of what they're up to they, they don't try to hide it right so like scouts have seen people being dragged up to obviously against their will right before so okay so you uh you find a map uh also uh, uh harmug oh you only hit a one yeah. Uh, also, you, uh, you, when you're fishing around in there, you figure slips and like it, half your hand like goes into his guts. Ew. And it's like, <laughs> he's, been, he's been there. Obviously, I think this has probably happened by the state of decay. It might've happened as soon as you guys left. This wasn't a yesterday thing. He's been sitting out here for a couple of days, just getting a little bloated and stinky. Uh, and your finger slips and goes, your hand goes into like, one of his open wounds. Were there Nothing. other maggots? It's gross. Uh, I mean, I would say yes. At the how long do maggots take? Obviously, not long. Not long. Yeah, right. <laughs> As we have a recently, week, a week, a weekend, maybe. A weekend. Yeah, yeah. You have squirming. personal experience. Oh yeah, he's squirming from. good. He's squirming okay. good. You get it all for yourself. So my hand slips into the goo as I as I grab this map and I go, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, uh, uh. okay, guys, I found. I found, I found the map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks to. Uh, On a few maggots, right? Yeah, mm. yeah that's, that's protein. Josh eats some maggots. Get it. Mm. Uh, it's gross. Looks to be the. Uh, uh, some some house. It's to a house. Do you guys should we check it out? Do you guys want to check it out? Is this a house in the village? I don't see why we're not going. No, you have no idea where this map is. It's completely uh. nondescript. It's literally just like. There's no place names or anything like that. It's just like literally a dotted line and a, like a stick figure of a house and like a dollar bill sign on the house. So you have like, it could, it literally could be anywhere. Dollar bill sign? Uh, or whatever, a silver. That's the sign for silver. <laughs> is it two lines through it. Yeah. Equivalent to currency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, cur- a, a symbol of currency on the house. Ah, uh, crap. Well, this isn't from here. So I just stuff it in my pocket and. Yeah, you kind of wipe some of the like. That. Is the useless. Gut, wipe some of the guts goo on it. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to climb one of the houses, get a good view of the land. Uh, it's blasted. You, it's bleak. That's okay. Uh, tr- the trees are not growing. Okay. Um, in the distance, towards the south, you see a outline. The, the light is a lot brighter towards the south. Okay. Um, uh, maybe a, yeah. Make me a quick presence roll. Okay. Uh, make it a make it a ten. So I got two. 16. 16, yeah. In the, towards the south, the, the sky is kind of glowing yellow red. Um, it looks like something is burning in that area. Okay. Glowing yellow red. Isn't that the direction of the church? It's. That is the direction of the church, yes. Yeah. yeah. Tark just kind of grabs Hall under her arm and says, Time to go to church. <laughs> Starts walking towards the church. Time to go to church. Doesn't even wait for these guys. They'll catch up. Time to go to church. <laughs> uh, the rest of the party, what do they think? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll follow. I'll just start walking behind them. There's not much left in the village other than, like, some real basic, yeah. like, some flower, uh, a, a, a mm-hmm. random broom. Mm-hmm. Uh, not much. These people have nothing to begin with, so there's really nothing worth looting. Yeah, I'll jump down from the house, but I'll take uh, the back end. Back end of the house? Back end of the group. Oh, okay. You want to, like, in, if, if, in single file, if there was a single If there was a single file, I'll be in the very back or just, like, away from them, probably sure. about five, ten feet. Cool. Um, as you all you make out of the village, uh, as you leave the village, you slowly... Uh, what was left of the forest surrounding the village, which is pretty sparse. There's there's not any green left. It's from just like standing toothpicks. 
You make your way to the sloping hill, which where we are now. Uh, the hill slopes slowly up uh, to a plateau, and the atop the plateau uh, are, was, is the Church of Necrobel. And it is aflame, but not burning out of control. It, it seems like it has been... It's not, it, it's not at the worst. It's on its, the fire has slowly is dying down, but it is still active. Is it a supernatural fire? Uh, not that you can tell. Okay. At this point, you're still about, you're, you're at the bottom of the hill. It's probably mm -hmm. about a kilometer up the hill. All right. Um, as you move towards the path up the hill, you start to notice gallows lining the path that were not there when you guys left a week ago. The gallows have figures on them. At this point, you can't really make out the specifics, mm -hmm. but these gals were not here a week ago, and they are here now. And the bodies look, from what you could tell, for the first couple, look worse for wear. Mm -hmm. Like they have not been, they've not merely been hung, but they have been desecrated and mutilated in some very bad ways. <clears throat> they look like they were desecrated and hung up there uh, around the same time as the body we found? They're, they're about the same, yeah. Um, I mean, you could do a lot of bad things to a corpse in a very short period of time if you had the right mindset, I guess. So uh, mm -hmm. they, they don't look mummified, but they look relatively, the rot levels are getting close to what Harmo okay. and... Uh, relatively the same amount of death in the village okay. we just encountered. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 I mean, depends on how close you want to get up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you walk up, you do see a body here. Um, actually, this guy we're going to take out of the way. And there is a body missing off that one. It looks like it's been ripped off, snapped. The rope has been snapped. Noticing that, I want to uh, search for danger, see if there's anything lurking around in the hills. Okay. Like um, good sniff. Good sniff? Do you have some, like, superpowered nose? No, but, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, if you have a positive attitude, okay. uh, the world yeah. rewards you. Uh, roll <laughs> me a, make a presence roll. Be to 12. 13. 13. You do notice, uh, there, this body here is looking pretty rough. Then you kind of notice off this side here, there is a bit of a, a trail of blood, which leads up, and you notice the body is up here. You also notice some wolves. Mm. Two wolves. And they are chewing on the body. They're, they're eating it. So that body's definitely dead, right? Oh, it's definitely dead. Definitely dead? All right. Oh, yeah, he's dead. All right. He's definitely dead. Don uh, Hart will swiftly and, the and quickly take a higher ground on the cliff face. Sorry? Right behind the gallows where the tree is. On this side here? Yeah, on the, the where the, the bloody tree is. Here, yeah. yeah. You want little. to get up there? Just a little bit, yeah. Like here? Yeah. Uh, you guys are kind of coming up here. This is where you are. Um, Josh, you could probably make it to... You're not going to be able to make it up there. Not all the way up there, but start where the, the rock face is. kind of get up, up Right behind here, the gallow. Yeah. Past okay. the fence. Uh, for now, we'll say you make it to the corner of the blood tree. Just behind it. And yeah, you're right behind. You're kind of like... They, the wolves have seen you, though. They know oh, you're there. Okay. They know you're there. But they're kind of, they're busy at mm -hmm. the moment. They're hungry. They're, they're eating. Yeah. They're eating. Can we, can we get around them if we went up, if we went up past the rocks into like the bluffs there? It's, I mean, you could try. Mm -hmm. You will like, like get up onto the rock on these side here? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like you could, you could start doing it. it this isn't to scale. 
-hmm. So it's the, the, the face, it, it's a big climb. It's about a kilometer up to the top here. Right. Um, so getting up there, the rock faces, there's a reason why there's a path. Yeah. Right. Okay, so if you But you can try. You could definitely give it a shot if you want to try mm. getting up onto the edges of the fat of the path. Hmm. If we get up there, we'd have a, an advantage. Does anybody have any like ranged weapons? Nope. Yeah, before our travels uh, <clears throat> before our travels I bought a crossbow. Right. Josh is behind the blood Doesn't tree. I have a little dog. <laughs> I have a big dog. Big dog. You got a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just send the dog through? It's going to die eventually. It's There's one no of food. Kind. Have it run off. Maybe they'll chase the stupid How dog. They'll speak dog to the dog out. Uh, he has 10. He's, your dog has 10 hit points. Yeah. Yeah. Your <laughs> dog's way tougher than um. most of you. <laughs> 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 the dog will eat anything and has like the digestive system to <clears throat> make that work. So the dog is like living its almost not best life yeah like no one's living their best life anymore but the dog's doing probably better than your average human at this point do you still say send the dog other than the gore dripping out of his body um mm -hmm. it does i guess it does say he's as, oh yeah i forgot to include he's asthmatic um okay. <laughs> dog's got asthma. he's a got it he's, he's a wheezy boy got it <laughs> got it mm -hmm. um i would like to I think what I'll do is I'll kind of move forward, maybe um, <clears throat> towards the left hand side. So I'm kind of like kitty, like counter. Your across left is this side, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll move forward that way a little bit. Like there and yeah, here, kind of like that, just so that that way, if they come towards me, then Josh has kind of some advantage on them. Your dog follow you. And then I'll get him to follow me. So as I'm walking forward. I have a flail, so I'll kind of just like start flailing it a little bit, just in preparation. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get Charles, <clears throat> um, I'll tell him, uh, I'll be like, Charles, only attack once I say. And I'll get him to kind of like, just like prep so that if they were to say lunge at me, then he would lunge at them in like a, <clears throat> you as like a secondary to action. To you kind of thing area? Yeah, just like, but just like readied so that if they were to say like lunge at me, he would then lunge at them. So far enough back that they're gonna pick me first. Yeah, 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 yeah. He kind of like, <clears throat> He does so like just like like five foot ten feet away, so that they're they're gonna go for me, not him. Like over here. Sure. Yep. Or 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 forward more. But back more, so further away from. Him back. Yeah. So I'm the target, not him. Okay, got it. Yeah, he like he tries to sprint there, but he's like, <laughs> like <the> tongues <laughs> lolling out of his head. He's got like one of his eyes are gross, and like there's some lots of snot. Like he's doing good. <laughs> yeah. But he ain't doing that good. Uh, anyone else would like to make a, uh, that, a move forward? That other corpse that's um, hanging closer to us. Yep. Is is the wood like good? Can I possibly jump up on that corpse and pull it down? Uh, you want to try to pull the corpse down? Yeah, I mean they're almost done with the other corpse. Maybe I can taunt them with some more meat. I mean, like you could definitely give it a try. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have tried befriending these wolves yet? I mean, maybe they'll be our friend. Uh, They've got an eye on you. They're, def they're still mm -hmm. like, as you sl as Josh, or uh, as uh, Dump Truck slowly moves forward, um, they've definitely like, they're still eating. Mm -hmm. Whereas first time, uh, as you approached, one was, one didn't even notice you, or notice you, but wasn't giving you any time of day. Uh, one kind of gave you the side eye. Now they, as Josh has moved forward, Dump Truck, uh, they're both, they're kind of, but they both have yeah. double eyes. But I'm behind that tree. Yeah, well, they know you're there, though. Yeah. You're not hiding that good. There. Is there anything out that tree? Uh, at the, there's a bunch of blood. Blood? At the okay. base of the tree. Just just blood? And there's just a giant puddle of blood, and there is a body. Oh. At the bottom of the okay. tree. That is been... Decomposing. Pulling? It's, no, it's, it's, a little, it's a little bit fresher. Really? It's not super nasty, but it's relatively fresh. In like. trying to pull that corpse down, is that a strength or a? Uh, let's. Um, this is you, right? This. Yeah. You're here, like. <laughs> you get over there. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to pull that thing down. Yeah, let's uh, initially make me. What should we do here? Can I assist? Make it an easier difficult rating or something. Uh, do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, boost her up on my shoulders. I don't like the pig, but I like you just fine. Hal doesn't like you either, so it's fine. 
Okay, oh, let's make uh, right. what's a good one for that? Hmm. Let's just just make it make a who's gonna you're going to try to pull it down? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I have no sharp tools, otherwise I would try and cut the rope. But got I, it. Uh, you you okay? So make a uh, make a, a, a strength test. Strength? Yeah. Okay. Test your, test your strength. 18 plus 3, 25. Oh, man, you <gasps> just, Whoa. you don't even need help, honestly. <laughs> you kind of like jump. Are you, ex are you especially heavy? No, you're especially light, I think. The yes, I have hollow weird. bones. Yes, hollow bones. <laughs> yes. Um, you've managed to get up there, and you got needly little fingers kind of thing. Yeah, and then you just so much manage to, like, you pull yourself up, actually, to the noose and manage to untie it. You're not heavy enough to pull the body down, yeah. but you're sweet enough to get up there and like actually untie it. And sweet. Yeah, so yeah, the body drops to the ground. Perfect. Um, so I, can I grab the rope that it was attached to and start traipsing forward calling fresh meat? Uh, yeah, the, there's not much rope. Most of the rope was left on top of was tied to the thing. You managed to just only kind of cut it. You want to take the rope off okay. the neck, or I mean, like there's. You could drag the body if you wanted to. Can I remove the rope? Stick it in my pocket. Stick my fingers in its eye sockets and drag it that way. Yes. Perfect. Uh, you now have uh, five feet of extra rope if you yes. wanted. If you want to add that. Sweet. Of bloodied, gross rope. Fantastic. Five feet. Hal, I know we didn't like her, but she's she's gaining on me. <laughs> Uh, so you want to, yeah, you want to like bowling ball the skull? Yeah, bowling ball the skull, yeah, and I want to try and like... Oh, the, sorry, the, 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 the head of the body yeah. and dragon bite. Yeah, yeah. Like fish hook kind of thing. And but, I want to try and kind of just throw it in their direction, but like off to the side towards the box. try to throw the body? No, I can't throw the body, can I? You probably just... I mean... I think as we all go by, you could just kind of drag it and just leave it there. So as you get interested, we have like kind of like an offering, like, here you go. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna start scared. moving sort of towards dump truck with it and <laughs> calling it. fresh meat to attract attention to myself. I'd say for this turn, <laughs> you get about you're kind of right in line there. Uh, I follow you. Can't cool. carry, you can't. It's 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 gross, and but it still probably weighs about 100 pounds. Yep. I follow her. So the wolves' attention are probably so no right longer behind? in the dump truck. Yeah. Are, are, are you gonna help with? Carrying the body? Yeah, I'll help with carry. I'll grab okay, the feet. Okay, so I'll give you another mm -hmm. bit of movement there. Just kind of like wagon wheel it. Okay, uh, at, uh, at this point, everyone else, please make another, uh, give me one more presence roll. 16. 18. Two. Two? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, fortunately, two of y'all pay attention. I know you only have one eye, <laughs> but I mean, how many eyes do you have? I, I've lost count. Yeah, it's honestly, it's, it's they're everywhere. That you can't. Is there no something that you can't be surprised or something in your? Oh yes. Was there um, something like that in your character? Uh, you cannot be attacked from surprise. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I can leave one of my eyes behind to spy if I do so choose okay. as well. Yeah. Whenever you want to do that, you can do that. Not going to do that right yeah. now. No. Okay. No. Uh, you all notice as well uh, for the chat. Uh, and for the viewers, the um, chances of everybody dying or characters are, they might be, they're high. <laughs> uh, so I've allowed everyone to bring a secondary character. That's why and I'm overly try, cautious. I'm not really, what? Sorry? That's why I'm overly cautious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, we're not there yet. Um, well, uh, so for a narrative sake, we're going to say that the four, uh, you two especially, if you have four high rolls, have noticed there might be a couple survivors from the village. Um, there are definitely some people in back among the outside of the village, but they are keeping their distance at the moment. They're not really they're not really ready to engage. But this is your secondary characters. So that's where they are. They're not coming in yet. You get a chance to use them. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, as, uh, as uh, you're dragging, you're fish hooking it. Yep. Grabbing legs. Yeah, grabbing legs. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, behind you. Let's see what happens here. Great, right, you're gonna piss him off. As that's happening, where'd you go? You didn't notice. No, you noticed 
this other wolf up here. Uh, you've gotten too close, unfortunately. The wolves were enjoying their snack. Yeah, and now, now, as you're dragging a fresh snack, uh, they, the wolves realize you are all a fresher snack. And why would they be eating weak old <laughs> semi maggoty meat when they could be eating fresh pumping blood? Dump truck readies his crossbow. Uh, Tark <laughs> grabs a spear and says, Don't you fucking try it. Anybody else want to chat to the wolves? Uh, I think I'm just going to uh, brandish my many very large teeth in uh, attempts to like intimidate the wolves that my teeth are bigger than theirs and I have more of them. Cute. Anyone else? Mm-hmm. I just barely notice what's going on and I drop my bowling ball situation <laughs> to glance uh, around and hey. wonder how I didn't freaking notice with all these eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they were all, all obviously looking somewhere else. I, I hate to say, I mean, there's lots of them, but everyone has an off day. Uh, okay, as this happened, the wolves are going to attack. Right. First wolf. Hold on, i got to write some stuff down here. Give me a sec. Uh, we're going to go wolf one, wolf two, wolf three. Classic. They have names, okay? They don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Um, Ouch. They're just ravening, like greasy, oily... Looks like they've been like living in their own feces for a while. They're we'll get along splendid through then. They're kind of they're definitely kind of gross wolves. Hmm. Uh, we got eight. Okay. Wolf one. Will. Look across and see um, a strange alien creature with way too many eyes. Crap. Uh, dragging a corpse behind her. Uh, do you want to try to? Did you want to try to like fling the corpse? Did you say that before? You can try. I'll give you a shot to kind of like get something in front of them. I'm gonna. I would like to try and tempt it with something that has more meat on it and doesn't require fighting to eat. I'd, okay. I'd like to give that a shot and see if I can fling it. Fling it. Uh, let's make a. Uh, Not too far forward. I was going to turn over and say, why don't you pull its arm off? Or try to. Rather than trying to throw an entire body, just try and throw part of its body. You might have better luck. <laughs> just drag it in front of me. You try to toss the whole body? Oh, just. Not a full toss, but like kind of like a. Ugh. Yeah, like. Get it in front of me as a barrier. Okay, all right. Of uh, meat. A shield. Meat shield. Give yeah. me a sh- uh, strength. Uh, let's give me a, 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 let's make it a strength 13. Yeah, that'd be okay. lifting. Like that number. 11. <laughs> uh, you, you manage to, it's too heavy. You kind of get it a boat in front of you. Uh, you're using the, 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 the fingers in the eye sockets thing. Um, the top of the skull kind of like rips off. There's all <laughs> some fractures. So you really kind of like, you're, you're going like this and Next thing you know, you just go blah like that, and, and like yeah. the body hits the ground, and it's kind of a spray of guts, and you're kind of left with like, like should have like, went with just the arm. A little ring of like skull fragment around your head. You're like, oh, okay, so it's kind of sitting there being gross. I had my hands in a lot of corpse today already. Yeah, I know okay. we just started too. <laughs> Start out great. I only just started. Um, from the chat, uh, Lauren. Yes. Someone, Roz, would like you to do. Something really gross right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. As, as, um, geez, what is your name again? Tark. Uh, so, no, uh, something empties the moon. Ash? Yes. Something empties the moon. What's your name? Again? Oh, uh, Familiar Echoes the Moon. Familiar Echoes the Moon. I'm just going to call you F E M for now. Mm-hmm. Great. Fem. Yeah. Uh, you notice Familiar Echoes the Moon trying to drag this and just flinging guts. You're kind of mm-hmm. right behind her. Mm-hmm. As well, so you get a little bit of like spray on. Yeah, you. I kind of like hit it and I go. It, it brings back this memory that my grandmammy told me about wolves, and it's if you cover yourself in pee, they don't like that. They don't. They don't like that. So I immediately just start peeing on myself, and I'm like <laughs> splattering it on myself. And I think, wait, was that jellyfish? Oh, whatever, I just keep doing it. Rubbing a little bit on Hal. I don't care. 
I've got nothing to lose. It's the apocalypse. And I look at those wolves and I say, don't you dare. Covered in pee. <laughs> they <laughs> big, big smells all of a sudden. I have a very ammonia stenting pee as well. Yeah. I haven't drank a lot of water. They both move in. These two move in. Oh, shit, they liked it. As well as this guy makes his way down. They say he was right. Mm -hmm. He's now on the path behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Wolf won. Well, he's going to move forward. Uh, he's initially going to... He is going to go, and he will be distracted by your corpse offering. And he will sit there and give you a couple sniffs, a couple licks, nice. and chew on a leg a little bit. He's placated for now. Uh, wolf two. Um, oh, wants some fresher meat. Okay. So he will, you are in the lead. He does, uh, he notices dump truck on the side there, but he, uh, because you've been such close proximity to a very, very fresh corpse, uh, thinks that you're probably all all the same. He's gonna go, he's gonna take a chomp at ya. There. Something, something, moon. Uh, what are we going here? Where's my wolves? Where's my wolves? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, they uh, roll to defend. Uh, yeah, they, they they hit on a 12. This is Mark Borg. You roll to defend. You don't roll to attack. 12. 12. Oh, okay. Ooh. You... They, he misses. Oh, and your... Uh, oh, yeah, and I've got a minus D2. Oh, do you have, you have armor? Yeah. Yes, okay. Padded cloth. Uh, minus D2 would be that less damage anyways. That would be right. if, it, if he hit you. Or, or so you add your agility modifier. Sorry. Your agility modifier. Oh, to my uh, defense there? Yeah. Uh, do, 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 then. Agility is to, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, agility is for defense, so yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's actually 13. Okay, so yeah, he takes a quick snap at you, but you manage to kind of dodge out of the way a little bit. Sweet. Uh, Wolf three is gonna come up and take a nip at Charlie, or Charles. Charlie has, and Charles has 10 hit points. You uh, yeah. You track his hit points, yeah? It, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's gonna bite. Uh, take a bite at Charles. Uh, uh, it's uh, a DR 12. Yeah, 12. Because he doesn't have, he has no armor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm identifying yeah, for roll him. It. Roll it. <clears throat> 19. 19. Uh, yeah, he b quickly whips out of the way and actually turns in to face the second wolf. Or third wolf, sorry. Okay, uh, individual, uh, everyone roll an agility, and we're gonna get some initiative rolls in here. 16. 18. 8. 17. Uh, 18, 17, 16, 8. So, who had 18, sorry, Julian? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, 17 was? Yeah, 16, no, I had 16. Uh, you had, a dump truck had 17? Yes, sorry. We're getting the high rolls out of the way so we can get ones after this. <laughs> okay. Cool. Got it. All right, uh, first up would be Bismuth. Uh, and then I guess I only get to attack myself or with Charles, not both, right? Uh, yeah, you can either, okay, so you, in your move, in your act, or in your, Total move, you can yep. move and attack or use a power. Uh, yeah. In lieu of either of those, you can move or have Bismuth attack as well. Or, or have Charlie or Charles attack. Okay, so I could. Attack. So, so you can move and he can attack, or you could both move, or you could both attack. Okay, cool. You have two kind of tokens to spend on. Cool. Um, and then, cool, I'll just. Uh, Double attack this wolf, I'll get Charles to bite him, and then I'll come in. I'm gonna go for a bite too, just for a nice. Uh... Uh, well, you're not engaged with the wolves, so oh, you can either move towards them. Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah. And sorry. Charles can attack, or you can yep. move and attack, and Charles can do nothing. Very true, very true. Uh, I will 
spin around so that I'm facing the direction and move maybe half the distance. No, I'll move right up to him. Sure, let's go right up. Do to these guys to the wolf back here? Yeah. You're gonna help your dog? Yeah. Swirl around. So I'll go, I'll, I'll move the full Sweet distance. Sweet ass well. cape with an anarchy symbol on the back. <laughs> And, and do you want to attack or do you want the dog to uh, I might as well attack. Yeah. So I'll use my flail. Oh, and I wolves rolled. have. I, I botched it, as per our previous discussion. <laughs> nice. Big fat one. Would you roll? Big fat one. A one. Ooh. A fail, a critical fail on your first attack? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, all right. Oh. OK, what, uh, what weapon are you using? Ooh. A flail. Flail. Uh, you go to swing the flail down, and a link from the chain of your flail snaps, and the spiky ball, or whatever the hell it is at the end of it, goes flying up into the rock somewhere. Sweet, sweet. And now you don't have a flail. Sweet. You have a baton. I have cool. a baton and a dog. Uh, you might have, I'll give you a tiny little bit of, if you want to move a little bit more, I'll give you a little, you have like, you have like say, 10 feet of movement left if you want to move. Um. And I'm not doing, I'm not too worried about opportunity attacks right now, but I'll. Um, you use sure, I'll sure, I'll back up 10 feet. You want to back up uh, a little bit? You could neutralize a critical or fumble. You want to use an omen you right now? Use an omen. Oh, I definitely will use that. Yeah, that's yeah. a good call. Okay. I'll use one of my omens. <laughs> 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 rewind that. Because <laughs> I want to keep that bad boy. The, meta, the metagaming pigeon yeah. has spoken. Okay, yeah. so <clears throat> neutralize it. Uh, I mean, we'll call, we'll just get another roll out of you. I'm gonna roll again? Yeah, to see. So that one never happened. Okay, dope. Don't roll another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you said it. Yeah. That would be amazing. Uh, I mean, I rolled a, that's an agility, right? So a four. Uh, no, this will, the attack will be strength. You're attacking with your flail. Oh, a strength, yeah, okay. Uh, it's a three. A three, okay. Not uh, a yeah, instead of like it breaking. At least you still have your flail. Like that, yeah, right? you mean like, it's like in the ground, you miss pathetically. Yeah. <laughs> It was terrible. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, number two will be dump truck. Uh, so I have clear view of wolf number two. Uh, right yeah, wolf, yeah, yeah. Um, this is, well, I mean. Right in front of familiar. This is wolf one here is directly. Wolf, right wolf right. one's eating the corpse. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, wolf one is, yeah. uh, is eating the Wolf two had attention to wolf. familiar of the moon. That's it. Okay, so <laughs> I already have my crossbow cocked and ready because sure. I don't know why these weirdos are ready. Yeah, yeah. Or wanting to feed it. Uh, so, I have my crossbow lock stocked on that butthole mm -hmm. around that starfish. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, take this right in the pooper. <laughs> you shoot him in the butthole? Shoot him in the butthole. Shoot him in the butthole. Roll, uh, Love beat, it. beat a 12, <laughs> bud. Uh, am I rolling? Just from D20? Yeah. You get, add, add your, actually, uh, on range, you add your presence. Uh, my range? My presence is zero, but I got rolled a 16. Okay, it's a 16. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> turn. You, you are like, you know, you're not right in front of the dog. Oh, it's not right it's going in that brown stuff. And it knows you're there, too. Uh, <laughs> but you managed to get it with a 16 you, you rolled. Um, yeah. Doesn't get it right in the butthole. Okay. It's kind of like in the taint. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of in like, which I might, be, might be worse. So the wolf is like, oh? <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, he, you hit him. Um, what kind of damage do you do on that? Uh, with the crossbow, it is D a D8. D oh, it's a D8 on the crossbow? Yeah. Cross Damn. Is it a nice. crossbow? Crossbow is D8. Sweet. But I only have 10 bolts. Got it. Roll that D8. What kind of damage do you do? Oh, I'm going to put that D8 right in there. D8 to the taint. D8 to the taint. Mm -hmm. Eight. Nice. <laughs> Uh, and that was, that's number two? Yeah. That's number two. That was number two. Um, okay. Uh, number two takes it in the taint, but the whole crossbow goes, shh, like the whole, it goes all the way up in. And <laughs> it kind of like, all you suddenly see is the crossbow bolt kind of poking out of its lower abdomen. Yeah. yeah. Um, that wolf is dead. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And as that's the wolf that just nipped at me, I kind of just go, ha, ha, ha. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, I got supper. <laughs> <laughs> wolf meat. I'll keep an eye out for you, familiar. Wolf meat is meat. <laughs> right. Keep an eye out for her. 
Yeah. I mean. All the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can probably keep a couple eyes out for him as well. <laughs> you, got of, you got a couple to spare there if you need one. One or two. Uh, okay. Uh, one wolf down with mm -hmm. one shot. Excellent kill, Josh. Hi Dump yeah. Uh, next up, we have who are your names again? I cannot remember. Tark. Tark, get her, get her done. What do you want to do? All right, I'm going to take my spear. I'm going to dink a bit. And so there's this wolf right beside. There's a wolf kind of. You were almost and, right beside me, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, something something moon is in the way. Uh, so do I have a clear shot? No, of not one at of the them? moment. You're kind of like right behind her. Oh, OK. Can I step out a little bit? You can. Like three uh, feet well, left to get a shot? This way or that uh, way? This way. This way? Yeah. Just a couple, like, couple feet over? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got a good shot there. Yeah. And Are you going to throw your spear? Uh, am I close enough to lunge or would it? Uh, I, I mean, like you could get close enough. Uh, you could, you'd have to move a little bit closer. But like mm -hmm. at that point, you'd have to probably be, say, there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. No, I'm gonna lunge with it. I don't want to lose the spear. Okay. And drive it towards right, aiming right for its chest. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Roll. Make a roll. See what you get. Okay. Uh, and I'm rolling your a strength. Strength. Yes. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. You definitely hit it. It. Uh, it's <clears> still <throat> kind of gnawing on its on the food. Mm -hmm. It all kind of happens at once. We're literally, like it looks over. Yipe. Dog gets it in the butt, mm -hmm. uh, looks over. You're there thrusting a spear. Uh, what kind of damage does the spear do? D6. Roll a D6. Six. Six. Uh, six. Uh, okay. ah. Actually, shh. You know what? I forgot the wolves have armor. That one is dead. We're going to keep that one dead. But because the wolves do have a little, they have like mangy fur, mm -hmm. you actually do less damage. Sorry. That dog oh. should, that, that wolf shouldn't have actually. Oh, that's, I was like, why are you pointing at me? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, so the <laughs> whole one, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, that one wouldn't have actually died, but. What? I fucked up. Oh. Good. Oh, the GM should button. never admit to that. What you do is always. Yeah, perfect. no, no, no. It's no, no. Yeah. I'll admit when it's I. The will up. of the gods. Uh, okay, uh, so, so uh, you did six damage. Shot. Yeah. So does it go down to four? Got it. Uh, it goes down to something. Oh. Uh, where's my dough? Where's my stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Uh, I just kind of like. Out with the spear, all bloody, and kind of just bare my teeth at it, like. Arr. You knew it's good for you, wolf. Get out of here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, next up. Gosh. Uh, I would like to pull out my crowbar. Crowbar. And swing it high in the air, and look at everyone else and say, "Does anyone remember golf?" <laughs> and just like. Golf swing at wolf number one's head. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> what is your crossbow damage? Or, uh, it's only a d4. D4. Okay. Uh, yeah. First, uh, let's uh, roll a 20. See if you hit. Roll a 20. Oh, for mm -hmm. uh, 15. 15. Plus Please. any modifiers? Uh, plus your crossbow would be uh, crowbar is a strength. Uh, then 18. Yeah. Okay. You tag the wolf real good. Nice. It, it takes a big hit. <laughs> I love those sound love effects sound so much. <laughs> um, uh, let's give me some damage. Uh, it's only a d4, so it is a two. Okay. Got it. He, uh, you smack him really good. You think it's a good hit. Yeah. Uh, doesn't really seem to bother him that much. Uh, fixed health. Yeah. Mm. It, it, you get him off the shoulder a little bit, and you just kind of shrugs it off. Okay. I still have a little bit of a movement though, right? I mean, uh, yeah, you didn't you do anything actually, but the wolf is definitely looking right at you now. You definitely have his attention. If you do, if you want to try to move out of his range, something might happen. And I'm right beside, uh, who am I right beside there? You're right beside Turk. Turk? Yeah. Turk? Turk. Truck. Uh, Tark, I just kinda... Tark. So there's Tark and Truck. Yeah. I would love to just kind of like slide over that way and just beside Tark. So we're like together. Like uh, over here? I'm just gonna come and hide behind me. No, you're, yeah, you're pretty like, much side by side as it is at the moment. 
Yeah, but I'm closer to the wolf you see, and that's my problem. Oh, uh, you are? Yes. I'm also very close to another wolf, you realize. Well, one, well, no, this wolf, this wolf is dead. No, but the other one I... I'm in between. Uh, there's oh, this wrong. wolf back yeah. here. Mm-hmm. I want to get to, like, the, the other side of Tart. So, like, up we're, against... we're together, and I haven't run away yet. Like, up against the fence here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh... Being cornered to a fence seems like a good idea. I'm into it, yeah. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Opportunity attacks. How do I do an opportunity attack? I haven't figured. This one never came up in our previous game. Let's see what I roll. What attack? It's just a move. Uh, I know, but like... They get you've, opportunity you've, attack. You've... He's, you've smacked him upside the head. Oh, yeah. And you're trying to, like, turn around and walk away. You forgot, uh, Cypher. I just, I just, <laughs> de- uh, determining on whether I was going to attack or not, I rolled a 20. So, yeah, he's going to take a little, uh, take a nip at you on your way out. Give you a little uh, nip on the bum. Yeah, you know, you try to turn and run. You try to turn and move away and work your way around. But he gets you, like, in the back of your calf. Ah. And he literally, like, just... <clears throat> Chomps down oh, it gives me giant a gnarly chomp. canines. That'll happen. Right on the back of your leg. Uh, what does he do? He does a D6. Uh, he does three points of damage. Do you have armor? Uh, I do. It's a minus two? D2. Okay, so you take one, you lose one hit point. Okay. Uh, but I will say you pull free and you manage to get kind of, you're now. Hiding behind, uh, hiding behind Tark. Uh, beside. Like I still want to face off with Tark. I don't. So you wanna... just kind of switch, switch like places with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I definitely interpret it as you hiding behind me, and I'm kind of like, what? Uh, Are you serious? Okay. You're both kind of okay. You're both kind of side by side. We don't like her anymore. The wolf now. But I'm just kind of shuddering from the nip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a nip. He got you pretty. Yeah, good. he got me. Yeah, bit that yeah, yeah, he got you pretty good. Took a third of my hit points. Uh, <laughs> It's Borg Borg. Uh, okay, uh, that's end of round one. Go round two. Uh, Wolf One is now not too concerned with his previous meal of fetid maggoty flesh, even though it was, you know, Dump Truck doesn't mind the maggoty flesh. It tends to tenderize the meat a bit. Full of protein. But, uh, you know, Oh, there's literally a fly flying on the map right now, too. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, he's going towards the dead wolf right now. <laughs> oh, he walked away. Okay. You uh, can sense it. Good job, fly. You want a job? You have a new uh, character okay. on the board. <laughs> wolf one will... Uh, what is wolf one going to do? Who is he going to tackle? We got a D4. We're going to roll a D4. See who he gets. One, two, three, four. It's a one. Uh, Wolf one will ignore you two-legged idiots and notice his brother is under attack. Move forward. So wait, come along beside his other, it's still on there, uh, and attack. Go to attack Charlie as well. All right. Uh, so Charlie will roll to defend. Charles? Charles. Oh, bugger. Uh, Charles. Charles, Charles, sorry. I'm ruining your game. Ah, oh, fuck, seven. Seven, that is a fail. Uh, he does a d6. Uh, one point of damage. Sweet. Uh, wolf two uh, will down. continue. They will use their, you know, they're all members of a pack. They're going to, he's going to attack. Uh, defend again for- For Charles as well? He's wised up. He got a 15. 15. Okay, yeah, he manages. He takes one bite uh, and a small, but not a bad bite, but it's still a little bit of a bite. Pulls away and manages to dodge the other one. Uh, do we have these guys do anything else? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, that's the wolves. Those are the two wolves' turn. They take two bites to Charlie, or Charles, one hits, one doesn't. Back two. Uh, what do we got here? Back to Bismuth. Uh, Start us right. off. Round two. I'm going to use uh, movement and send Charlie uh, up the road, just like kind of towards, as far as away as he can, kind of to, away from the um, wolf towards the towards the cathedral. Give them both 
opportunities to attack though when he turns when he moves because they're right there uh, he's now he's currently facing both that's both true, of yeah. them he's snarling they're not 100 percent sure he's taking a little bite one of them missed but if he turns around and moves away Fair they're enough. gonna both go both go, uh okay i'll start with ass. my attack then and i'll attack um the wolf that'd one. probably be wolf three would be there is the closest one sure i'll attack wolf three okay roll the hit <clears throat> That is an 18. 18 hits. And then... Some damage. E8 damage. That's an 8. Uh, 8 points of damage. Wow. Nice. Damn. Nice. Um, yeah. fun. Uh, that's, uh, no, that's what I'm talking about. So he's still alive this time. He is still alive. Uh, oh, wait. What are you attacking with? Oh, yeah. Your, your flail didn't break. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, you bring it down over his head, and you just you, you get him like in the back of like sh- in between the shoulder blades, and he kind of like buckles down, and it looks really like get you know, up, kind of like pop it out a little bit where the spikes is kind of slate twined behind his neck. I guess I'll get and he, Charles. His yep. eyes kind of loll. Um, Finish it. Looks over. <laughs> so I guess I'll just get Charlie to attack. Also, Charles to attack. Uh, are you not moving? Uh, no, I might as well not, because I was the yeah, wolf. Okay, yeah, you can get him to do an attack as well. <clears throat> uh, On wolf, the same wolf? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a 15. 15 hits. And then he is a d6. With bite damage at <laughs> one. One. <clears throat> so uh, the wolves have armor. Uh, they kind of get a He bites back, gets one of the wolves on the scraggly part of the neck. And it shakes it off, um, gets a mouthful of fur. Sweet. Okay, next up. You already got that. Um, so yeah, I still have... a mouthful of fur before? You already got a mouthful so of fur. So both... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> time, he loves, loves eating sure. fur. Uh, both wolves, they moved? Uh, yeah, they're both down yeah. here, uh, harrying those two. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're still like tucked in. Yeah. Behind the blood, uh, by the blood tree. By the blood tree. Uh, hopefully it's not all slippery. Uh, so I will hastily, because my crossbow is like tied to me with like a rope, sling it through my back. Okay. And have it behind my uh, cape here. Got it. Run towards the wolves. Yeah. Right where Charlie is. Okay. And. And I will right strike here? at. Uh, is that first or third? Uh, that would be first. Okay, I'll strike at first with my sword. Got it. <laughs> Take a swing. All right. I... Oh, no. <laughs> well, I got a 14. Oh, a, four, a, a, a 14 <laughs> will let you. <laughs> I can't see with the eyes. <laughs> it's actually really hard with the eyes. Perception is messed up. <laughs> it's actually really hard. Okay, so I got a 14. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, I lost completely. What do you want to, you're gonna hit, yeah, you I hit strike a with a sword, yeah, I got a 14. 14. Okay, yeah. Uh, the dude, D6. What kind of damage do you do? D6. D6 damage, roll yeah. uh, that D6. Do you have, a, do you sell some dice? Got a three. Uh, a three, okay, uh, Thank and that you. is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the bar, we'd be calling you a taxi right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, well. He does have an eye patch on. He's been, you've been, you've had, how long have you had that on for? Uh, a couple hours. Oh, yeah, that Since was... we started. Yeah, yeah. And, and a little bit beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see anything. It's still really difficult, because, okay. like, that's where the tray was. That's, I hope, I hope that showed up on camera, is all. Uh, oh, it probably did. It looked great for my, you look great for Oh, me. yes. Yeah. It looked good, okay. Okay, uh, the, you and, sorry. I can you... see everything here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you you managed to clip clip the wolf uh, a bit okay. on the shoulder, but it's still hanging on. Copy that. Uh, that is that one. That one. That one. Next up, Tark. All right. What do you want to do? So there's. Okay, so the wolves are just a little. Do I have a clear shot to either of them? Um, you it's are hard here. To see it with a single. Yeah. Uh, a clear shot with what? Spear, like either charging to, or chucking. It? Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't be able to physically get it past right now because there's a wall of your compatriots. I mean, you could try to throw it, mm-hmm. or, or you could try to get through, but you literally have three friendlies and the two wolves are behind them. So you have a wall of flesh. I will set the DC 
quite high if you would attempt to attack without getting around them. Uh, and what would you set the DC if for a throw? Uh, equally high. <laughs> I mean, you, you want to, if you want to try. Right. Um, Thank you. So if I, if I go and run around them, could I run around them and attack in the same turn or would that be too much? Let's see. You might be able, you'd probably be able to get around to this, the, this one guy here, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, if you want to get right up beside him. Yeah, like, sure. run over with my spear and like, yeah. into like the back calf. On the, the flank, anywhere I can, anywhere that looks vital. He's, the, the wolf is like, he's got, he's, he's kind of surrounded, so you can mm -hmm. probably get, roll the hit. So All right. Give me that d20. Plus your strength. 19. 19, oh yeah. You spear him real good. Uh, yes. Roll for some damage. Six. Six, okay. Uh, yeah, you come around the corner. Um, there's two flies. Oh, there's actually a fly on the dog's butt. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah. You come around the corner, whip around uh, the corner of um, this myth. The wolf doesn't notice you, and you just spear it like you kind of get right through some brutal organs. He's dead. I say, uh, done. should have taken my piss warning. Piss warning. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, one more wolf left. Uh, and F-E-M is your turn. Uh, I can get to the wolf from where I am, right? Yep, yep. Uh, uh, it's, getting, it's close. What do you want to do? Um, I I would like to run up behind it and strike it in the femur with my femur. <laughs> you managed to just get across. Ding, 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 ding. While calling out, stay away from my friends! Mm -hmm. Because I haven't really felt connected to anyone in a really long time, and yeah. these guys are protecting me, and I'm protecting them, and it just feels really good in my heart. It'll pass, don't worry about it. Um, Dog times. Ooh. Plus, uh, you're hitting with the femur, so add your strength. Ah, uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. Um, as uh, you come around the corner, you're in such a fury to hit this thing, you swing, miss, and uh, but manage to uh, gra uh, minorly graze dump truck. Uh, <laughs> she gets you right in your gross scar, that, that your arm that was really sore. Chat wants you to do something gross. Oh, just yeah. in she, general? She, uh, yeah, Ash has like barely kind of grazed you yeah. with her femur. Okay. Yeah, she's swinging a bone. So she no. smacks you instead of the, the wolf. It's no. not. How gross is it? So now I gotta do something gross? How gross is it? <clears throat> yeah, no, it's still fine. It's fine. <laughs> what? Yeah, still good. Right. Then you don't do any damage, but like you're absolutely like you look over and dump trucks like poking in his eye hole and spitting on his open wounds. And you're are you disgusted or not? I'd like to sit back in like just like a like a somber admiration. You know, just like a I get it. Gross. <laughs> No, we weren't doing that today. Oh, okay. How? I love you guys. Why is I'm back to sour? this. We're staying away from her. Uh, okay. It's uh, last one. Wolf, Wolfie's turn now. He is. He's just gonna focus on Charlie. Charlie's right. here. Uh, roll to defend. Seventeen. Seventeen. He absolutely defends. Uh, the wolf is being surrounded and he's getting his ass handed to him and uh, he's having a tough time. Uh, so uh, that's it, he's the last one up. I am so sorry everyone. I'm up. Uh, finish this guy off. I'm going Save to, your dog. yeah, I'm gonna go for Wolf. Um, he's the only one left, there's only one left. Oh, the other one's dead, okay, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah let's uh, go for a big old swing with the flail. Swing with the flail. That is a 10. 10, yeah, uh, you, uh, it was a near miss, but it is a miss. All right. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, he's got thuds on the ground right beside him. 
I'll go for, I'll get Charles to bite him just to, to make up for all the times they try, they try to give, bite him. Give him a bite. Oh, I missed. A two. A two. Uh, he, like, he whiffs poorly. Uh, yeah. He's obviously out of breath. He's been in fighting. He's has <laughs> asthma. He's, yeah. He's <laughs> kind of useless. Uh, dump truck. Ah. Uh, one so, wolf left. Yeah, one wolf. My sword is still freaking out and about. Double handed. Did you have it. a crossbow what? last time? Sorry? Did you have a crossbow and a sword? I have a crossbow and a sword, yeah. Okay, all right, so you good. Because I bought a crossbow. Right, you came up last it. time, got it. Yeah. Got it. And then I... Got it. Remember? And just a regular sword? Came at the, yeah, just normal sword. D6 damage. Roll. Uh, so, come at it. Two-handed. Down right at his neck. Roll that 20. Roll in that 20 on this side now. Ooh, six. Yeah, you whiff. Uh, obviously, it's your bad eye side. Yeah. You know, like there. <laughs> kind of do it. Should I put the tray back <laughs> over there? <laughs> uh, one more. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's get this one. Tark. Right. No problem. All right. Kill like this wolf. Last wolf. Ready my spear. Go for it. Take a stab. With strength. One. One. You, like, was that a natural Ooh. one? It was a natural one. Oh, a natural one. I'm using uh, an omen. Omen. Oh, use your omen. That's your down. Is that you have one more after this? You I have one more after with? this, yeah. Use your omen. Yeah, I'm neutralizing a. Actually, I'm just going to re roll. You're going to re roll yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, re roll it then. <laughs> Seven. Still uh, really bad. Uh, a seven. Uh, yeah, you still don't hit. You, you're right. better than a natural you, one. You miss. It, yeah. goes, it, it goes between its legs. Yeah. This uh, his last hit is taken. He's, he's still got. He's he's hanging on. He's just like you gotta go standing to around his roll like eh. Like, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, next up, F E M. Kill this wolf. Kill this wolf. Uh, Kill the wolf. wolf. I'm gonna kill the wolf. Kill the wolf. Kill the and wolf. here's how I do it. How do you do it? Is I take the crowbar, yeah. and not like the, the swing and golf end, but I wanna yeah. take like the straight end mm -hmm. and just uh, like cram it in between his, his shoulders, back of his neck. Got it, he's already taken a wound back there. It's looking a little, yeah. oh, was that him who took that? Yeah. Yeah, it was, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, roll that, uh, roll the hit. And this is strength? Strength. Strength, I got 22. 20. No, <gasps> roll a natural 20. Uh, no, I rolled a 19 plus three. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, roll, you hit him AF. Roll oh, damage. but also I only get a D4. It's okay. Two. Two, uh, okay. You hit. For two. He's still alive, he's still, he's still alive. Oh crap. He's still alive. <laughs> Uh, you bring it down on the back of his shoulders, and, and this wolf looks pathetic at this point. It's bleeding out of its mouth and nose, some out of its ears. Um, it has, he's still going to, he's taking a nip. Uh, that Charles? Roll to the from Charles. Come on, buddy, you got one more in ya. 16. 16, okay. he misses. All right. Oh. Uh, Jill, uh, quick. Back in there. Uh, all right, let's Fight do your it. dog. I'm gonna go for uh, a mouth bite just because I'm tired of swinging You're gonna my chomp your own mouth? My own mouth. That's Gross. a 15 to hit. 15 definitely hits. You get a mouthful of nasty wolf. <laughs> and then I'm going to roll a D6. Six. What is it again? Uh, DR10 to attack and... Oh yeah, you get a you get a D6 roll and you if get a you one roll or a two. One, right? uh, no, if you roll a one, right? No, if you just get a D6 roll and if you roll a one or a two, then you get a chance to attack chance. me because I'm biting you. Got it. And I think it's... I think it's six for a bite, but I forget. Uh, yeah, roll the d6. Which is a five. Five. Um, you bite, you reach out, and you're tired of this guy, this wolf attacking your friend, yeah. I guess, whatever, I'm not sure. Like how, a, yeah, dog. my buddy. Um, you manage to reach down, and you kind of get on the side, and your big, gnarly, what do your teeth look like? Are they canines? Are they are yeah? They're kind of like real, real teeth? long and skinny, sharp teeth. Um, you manage to get a little bit underneath, behind the ear, towards the throat, and you just pull a fucking chunk out. Sweet. And bleh, uh, a goat of blood nice. follows, and the wolf is down. <sighs> All yes. enemies are now dead. Finally. Um, yeah. Finally. Uh, yeah. You all. 
shake it off. And uh, <laughs> do, do anyone want to try to do anything else before we move? Uh, I'm going oh, yeah, to uh, harvest some meat from these wolves okay, and exactly maybe the pelts if I can. Like cut off some legs. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, we want to cut off the pelt. Make me a strength roll. I'd like to just... 14. 14. Um, it's, tr- you're like getting like, you're, it's, it's, you're shredding it. There's <laughs> like, there's no, you, it's, it's a little tougher to get off than you yeah. can. There's not such like a clean hit up the butthole. Can I retrieve <laughs> my bolt out of it? That yeah, wolf? you can, yeah. Yeah? Can. So now I'm backed up, it's 10? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> uh, can I snag a few of its teeth? Uh, let's see if I can break them off. Try to uh, get them out. Um, let's go, give me a strength roll. Seven. Uh, seven. Uh, you shatter them all pathetically every time you try to get in there. Uh, Some weak teeth? It's like, it's like you don't know that they come out. You keep on like, <laughs> like forward and they just like snap each one. You're like, you don't get it. You're like, I don't know why this isn't working. Well, this one. I don't have teeth of my own, see, so I don't. Yeah, you're like, it's not like eyes. It's, they don't work the same. No. Teeth, teeth are a little different than eyes. Right. Uh, I'd like to crush one of their skulls beneath my boot as I walk away. And you do what, sorry? Just kind of like, you know, step on its head and crush its skull. And then yeah. Before um, I walk away. Yeah, give me a strength roll. It's a cocked. Six. Six? Uh, you like, <laughs> you, you go to stomp down and it kind of just like, you scuff off of it. Uh, you look kind of like an idiot doing it too. Please. You kind of stumble. <laughs> Everybody That's sees it. you. They're like, wah, wah. That's par for the course. Yeah. I'm too busy retreating my bolt. Yeah, dump truck's not even paying attention. For those who are paying attention, you're like, nice, mm. nice buddy. Um, okay. Can I try to um, carve any meat off of uh, any of the bodies? You can try. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me a, let's go with a, an, a um, you know, what could I do with this one? Go for presents. Roll me a presents. All right. 14. 14. You get a day's worth of meat off of it. Yeah. Um, do you have something you can put it in? I have a backpack. A backpack. So you're just going to drop raw meat in the backpack? Uh, mm-hmm. Wrapped up with, with. Uh, the, the shitty fur that is just all mesh. I'm just okay, going to wrap yeah, it and roll we'll, it we'll, Yeah, we'll say you've got maybe a day's worth of food that lasts uh, if you haven't used it in like three days. All right. But we're not going to. Also, uh, who took damage? Uh, Charles? I did. No. How much damage did you take? I, I lost a hit point in that battle. Just one? Just one, yeah. And Charles? He has lost one too. He's got ten. He's got nine. That's left, it. Right? I barely even touch you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, <laughs> it's I'm hilarious. The next uh, I got a medicine chest. If you need to freaking heal up, I also have a medicine chest. So. Okay. I also wait. We all have medicine chests. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> we were so traumatized from session uh, zero that I'll we give, all I'll give Ash. Chest. I'll give Ash a medicine <laughs> chest. Like, all rolled like good characters okay. after yeah. that. You like yeah. stacked your characters. You have a bunch of them. I'll give Ash a medicine chest because I have four. Uh, you, you get five uses. And uh, oh, right. she only has three health, so you can. I, I just roll a d. Six. See how much health she gets back. But she, but because she only maxed out at three anyway. You only max up with three. You yeah. See, so I rolled a two, so you get you get so your you one get, health back. Well, you get your one. Oh. Back. Well, it's D10 HP. It must be different. Mine's a D10. You roll a D10 for the medicine chest. For the med- you can't go past your your max. No, you don't get like an additional no. 10 HP on yours, but you, you go up to your max. Six. But you can go up to 10. Yeah, sure. I have, but I have um. Sure. Five uses. <laughs> Uh, um, sure. As uh, we're running, we're going to go to break pretty soon. We're going to say we're oh. going to go to break pretty soon. We're going to say, uh, would you guys like to prefer to move up to the hill? Uh, yeah. Ah, if as, everyone's done mutilating wolf bodies. Yeah, there's there's yeah. wolf bodies over there. As you work your way up to the hill after your brutal encounter, I'd like to stay cautiously behind a little. Yeah, bit. we are here over. Somewhere it doesn't matter. Um, you start noticing from your faces in the gallows. Um, there are towns. These are the townspeople. Some of the townspeople. Uh, you notice like old Hank, his favorite hat. Um, I don't know. Young Jeannie. She was twelve. Oh. She's Jeannie. been particularly brutalized. All these. They're not just hung. They are throats cut. Missing limbs, mutilated, uh, mutilated, uh, and in pretty definitely been desecrated. Spoiled. As we walk up the hill, I'm just gonna take my noose out of my bag that I just have. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna kind of hang it around my neck in like solidarity for nice. all of our fallen town folks nice. as we walk up the hill. I've got um, some experience with the 
the cultists having uh, been in one myself mm. and walking through the bodies with all the eyes around my head and I'm just taking in all of the, the mutilation that's taken place and I just start to shudder and weep out of my many eyes, crying out, oh, not again, I can't go back, I can't go back, I can't go back, not again, not again. One or two that you're, 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 you're weeping so hard that they're like a couple of the smaller, weaker eyes are actually kind of like, you have to catch them from falling out. Like you feel them. <laughs> they're so like, the tears are pouring out so hard. They're just like, whoop, they're just like, whoop, 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 the side, yeah. pop it back in. As we go up, I just pull a cowl over and I take my, my pig head pile and just kind of hide him in my clothes. Your, your pig head? Yeah, my pig head. It's super comfy. Carl. Carl's super comfy. <laughs> you want my clothing? My eyes. You make your, your way Your tears. Up. The horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're moisturizing your tears for your eye? <laughs> I'm... Are you drinking it? Yeah. Salty. Uh, I am not of this world. It tastes weird. And I don't yeah, they taste it. weird. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, uh, it's like it's like lemon and Did you say lemon. Yeah, like rotten lemons. Kind of like lemon, sure. lemon eggs. Yeah, lemon lemon eggs. Yeah, lemon oh, eggs. Lemon eggs. That tastes taste fine like. to me. Gross. <laughs> uh, you slowly work your way towards the top of the hill, where the smoldering ruins of the Church of Necrobell lie, and uh, that's where we're going to take a break. <gasps> um, great job, first uh, session. Yes. It's great. Uh, again, we stream every week uh, on Twitch, 3.30. Uh, for the other week will be Altero Expeditions, our ongoing campaign. And uh, the other week we'll be doing one shots or nots. So stay tuned. We'll be back in uh, 10 minutes or so. <laughs> we're back? We're back. I think we're back. Welcome back to a Filthy Quest Lines edition of Mork. We're gonna go Morkborg because it's just easier to say. I can't do the Swedish Morkborg. I just Mork -borg. It, sounds, it sounds terrible. Mork -borg. Morkborg. I'm just gonna go with Morkborg. So this, yep. Yeah, again, we are Filthy Quest Line back 3:30 uh, every Tuesday, alternating streams between our ongoing camp campaign, uh, Altero Expeditions, Shadow of Blood and a random uh, one-shot that we do, one shot or not. Sometimes it's one shot, sometimes it's not. You never know. We're gonna do this in one. So, uh, our, our, I don't wanna say adventurers or heroes, because you're none of that. No. Um, you're all terrible people. Uh, have made it up past uh, some gnarly wolves and a path lined with corpses of your recently deceased, relatively recently deceased, Acquaintances, they're not, they're not friends. No one is friends really at this point in the world. Everyone's out for themselves. Nobody's uh, friends at the end of the world. They have all, no one's friends at the end of the world. Everyone, uh, there were signs of a struggle and you have made your way up to the Church of Necrobel, uh, which is, Necrobel was uh, a seer that had um, really foreseen all this, all these, and made a list of uh, miseries that have occurred. One has occurred already, and it was, what, what happened to that one? We lost some money. Silver. Yeah, all your money, half your money disappears. Half the money Turned in, into sludge. literally like, literally half the currency or anything valuable in the entire world has just turned to sludge. I'm thinking the gate two. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen the gate two. Ooh, no, check it out. Yeah, okay. As you make your way up to the church, it is smoldering. It has been, it was on fire. You know, Really, um, not really sure why. We're not gonna get into that. It was burning. Church, churches are meant to burn. So as you work your way up to the front door, um, everybody make a, uh, what, what do you wanna do when you, as you make your way up to the church? Uh, You're standing at the front doors of the church. It's definitely a smoldering ruin. Uh, there's fires mm -hmm. off to the side, still burning. <laughs> Could I uh, scuttle around the edge and kind of poke my, my face through with the glass to have a look inside before actually entering the building? Uh, which side do you want to go around? Uh, on this side. This side here? Only because I can see this side from where I'm sitting. Can I even get around there? Walk up around here. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could kind of make your way up to the corner here. Um, there is a fire burning. On the oh, that's, is that untraversable, the uh, fire? I mean, you could make me a tough... There's a fence. 
There's, there's, there is a little fence there. Oh, you I just can't see it. From uh, yeah, there, okay. there, there's, 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 small, the there's small fences. I mean, they're not untraversable, mm -hmm. but as, as you work, if you want to work your way around the side, um, there's a lot of smoke kind of yeah. building around. You want to try to do it? Yeah, I'll keep going. Yeah. Uh, make a toughness roll. Toughness, all right. Seven. Seven. Um, the smoke is choking. Uh, as uh, make one more toughness roll. Ten. And that's with your modifiers too. That's with my modifiers. Uh, you take one point of hit. You mm -hmm. take one point of damage as you keep on <laughs> trying to push through it. This uh, is a you're terrible idea. In the smoke, and you retreat. Uh, are the doors kind of like the doors are charred as well? Uh, the, the the doors are burnt but ajar. Uh, can I? I'd like just to try. Even though they're open, technically, I'd just like to try and. Like kick slash obliterate the other one, uh, as in making the door more open. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Wanna... Uh, I'll be right behind him with my crossbow, just covering him. Uh, I was gonna say I would like to take one of my eyes, remove <laughs> it, mm. and throw it, and th as hard as I can through the door to see what I can see. Okay. Well, that's uh, a great idea. Yeah, you could definitely. You have eyes to spare. Yes. And can definitely pop an eye out and fling it into the room. Uh, let's make a um, make a presence roll for me. Four. 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 Um, you kind of <laughs> These dice, man. Through the crack. Of, I just want to keep golfing. Uh, what is, uh, who are you? Who are you people again? Who are you people? Bismuth, um, you managed to kind of like, do you kick the door? You would yeah, I, I, hack it? I, I count. No, that's more like you know, like like click, like kicking a door in. But hopefully, because it's charred, I'm hoping that it might kind of like you know. Well, they they, they come door. outwards towards you. Yeah, but it's charred, so I'm trying to kick it inwards. Oh, you want to try and kick it in? Yeah. This wants uh, to look cool. Yeah, yeah, you give it a bit a bit of a kick. It kind of moves. One of the doors kind of move in a little bit. Um, with your roll, as he's kicking the door, you decide to pop out an eye and try to like get it through the thing. But it hits the door as Bismuth kind of closes it. it smacks off the door uh -huh. and rolls feebly back to you. Let's say it just rolls back to your foot. Okay, it's I gross. would like it's, to... It's dirty. I'd like to pick it up mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. if I may, mm -hmm. and just quickly snort it through my ear Got it. and out my nose. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you clean it off? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then I, I grab my robes and I just... And I go, ah, good as new. And I pop it back on to the back of my head from whence it came. You do it, you're all absolutely horrified by this display of like how you don't know how somebody can just pop an eye out. I can stand and watch yeah, it a little more. The, like the pig head doesn't know what to think about yeah, it. Yeah, the pig head it like turns away and it shudders. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's horrifying. You don't <laughs> even, you guys can't tell what, you're obviously not a human. No. Uh, as this is happening, um, uh, they're to the side. You hear, you see a flash of light besides the door. And after the light fades, there's a small blue creature, mm -hmm. um, the size of a child, but the head is un unnaturally large. Um, like it's having a hard time. You're not sure really how it, it kind of keeps its head on its sh shoulders. It's so big, it kind of like, and every time it kind of moves around, it lolls. Mm -hmm. It looks like very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> uh, and the creature looks over and says, Hi. I didn't <gasps> like that. What do you want? My name. My name's Sagsberth. Are, are you. Are you travelers? What of it? Are, are you travelers? We're looking for our friends. Are, are you travelers? What if we were? I have many wares to sell to travelers. I too am a traveler. I'm not a traveler, I am a wanderer. Oh, that's close. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you, do you have silver? Maybe. What do you want with silver? I like silver. I have 
Where's the trade for silver? What are you doing here, boy? Uh, it's not a boy or it's a, it's androgynous. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, do you possess poison? Black poison? I'm a traveler too. He looks over to you and... <laughs> I have wares to say. I like... Have... I have a tube. Small thing, you are very upsetting, but do tell us what you have. I, I have Spit it out! I have a tube. <laughs> and I have a jar. And I have a torch. And I have... How much? <laughs> flutes. How much for your tube? How much for your flute? You would like the tube and the flute. <laughs> what silver have you for my tube and flute? Ten silver. I shall, I shall also put forth ten silver. Ten silver? Yeah. Ten silver is inadequate for my tube and wholly inadequate for my flute. Uh, I'm kind of getting annoyed, so I'm just gonna like kind of grab uh, Charles from behind me and pull him forward, and just like let him kind of a snarl at the dog or snarl at this tra this weird traveler, yeah, and kind of he, be like, uh, or they, um, <clears throat> and you're like, get up in there, and, and then I'm just gonna say, you try to buy, <clears throat> take my ten silver or be gone. You guys are you two are trying to borrow. You want to see if you're buying some stuff? Well, the other two, what would you like to do? So we had. A vial, a flute, a he torch. Has, uh, he's got a, a jar, a yeah. tube. tube, a torch, a tube? and a flute. A tube. It's a it's 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 like a, a metal cylinder. Um. Oh, sorry, a wooden cylinder. Okay. I kind of come over and I'm just very annoyed by it. Immediately, I'm just so over this, and I say, I'll take the torch for twelve silver, but I'm not bartering. So take it or leave it. That's way more. Sorry, than 12 silver silver is inadequate. What? All right, storm like does a dramatic uh, turns around I and then walks towards the uh, entrance of the church. Silver. <laughs> then. I'd like to look over at dump truck here and say, I would also like the flute. Mm. Uh, you may wield it. Mm. Shall we combine our silvers? Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. I have 15. <laughs> 25 silver. Tw total 25 silver? Yeah. We lost half our silver! I know. <laughs> uh, I wasn't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shut up and take my money! 25 silver? You could have a tube or a jar. Not a help. For the torch and the flute. <clears throat> Um, okay, I'm gonna say. <clears throat> Tell me how much for the flute? For my flute? 99 silver. <laughs> Blue child, Both what lines. makes these items so expensive? This is, ex this is highway robbery! I'm not the only one that thinks that this they child. Are special. They are special. This is my special flute. It's great. Uh, I don't know if he wants to. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, I'll tell you what. I have, a... I have one more barter for him. Yeah, I'm gonna say fifty silver for it all, or this shall be the end of. I'll tell you. Life. I'll tell you right now. The tube and the jar are thirty-three silver. The uh, crap torch is sixty-six silver, and the flute is ninety-nine silver. I oh, say we go for the flute. Um. All combined. So. Or we can, or, I'm known for my ability to charm oh, wow. people. Mm -hmm. Or we can yeah. kill But I try it to charm this blue you, creature. Uh, what do you try to, you want to try to talk him down? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be like, talk down. 19, <laughs> my, my comrades want this flute. I, personally, I couldn't care less, but my comrades want this flute. 99, what are you going to spend that amount of money on? We're at the end of the world. You know that half the money in the world, just like uh, like yours and ours, is, uh, has gone overnight. The end of this world does not mean the end of all worlds. Oh, so you're saying you're just gonna skig out of here then? Mm. Convenient. They've got they've got other places to be. Yeah. I would do, like. Do, okay, sorry. 
to offer our 25 silver one day's food and this beautiful sharp needle. Mm -hmm. Think of all the things you could do with this beautiful sharp How much is a you can get home needle? Up. How much is a needle worth? I don't know. Uh, here, hold on, we got it right here. Those are worth like two, two silver. Needle. Yeah. A couple sil yeah, a couple silver. Uh, I mean, you could get the jar or the tube for that for that barter. You would be willing, unless uh, do you want to try to make yeah, you are especially. Uh, I'm trying to charm him. Yeah. Char okay. Uh, yeah, let's go for a presence. All right. mm, Give nice. me a presence roll and beat uh, a sixteen. Yeah, I definitely didn't do that. Eight. Uh, Your bartering is inadequate. <laughs> okay. I shall trade you this donkey to carry your wares. As a well. donkey? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn! How long have you had a donkey for? The, the, the whole time? time? I shouldn't want to bring it up after I realized I didn't have a mini for the dog, then I thought I'd just keep it in pocket. It's a oh. elf donkey. <laughs> you should have let me know you. should have let me know you. chilling in the back, just you some jackass. I think you might have told me that you had a donkey earlier, but I, I did, wasn't yeah. sure. I mean, donkey's just been following us for like a mile changed. back, and we're like, yeah. what? Why does um, it just keep coming? You know what? Your donkey fucked off. Oh, <laughs> damn it. He took off. He, <clears> during <throat> the wolf fight, uh, did, did, we'll just say the donkey had nothing. It was just some like random horse yeah. that was a donkey that was kind of following you. Um, <laughs> I think the donkey pieced out because he was scared of the wolves. Uh, okay, I'll say, so as I say that, I kind of turn around behind me and realize that my donkey is no longer standing behind me <laughs> as I thought it might be. And uh, <clears throat> then I'll say, I'll offer, <clears throat> I'll offer you 30 silver for your tube. Uh, you can, I mean, like, he's, he's cool with the, yeah, 30 silver for the tube, yeah. If you guys wanted to, you can also get the jar with what you guys had together as well. Mm. Um, and that, so I have 15 silver left, so I'll give you my 15 silver, and I've bought this tube for 30 silver. Okay. Um, so inside, the, you, he hands you, or they hand you a, a, a wooden tube, and yeah. it has a slide, and you open it up, and there is a scroll inside. Oh. You have a foul protein scroll. Um, let's... Uh, you know what? Yeah, what's the power? Where is the powers? Roll a D, uh, roll a D10, please. That is a two. Is a two. Okay, you, the scroll is, is tongue, what does it say? Uh, tongue of Eris. Uh, so if you use the scroll, uh, yeah. a creature of your choice is uh, confused for 10 minutes. The confusion scroll. But you have to roll, Are, and you're able to use scrolls as well? Um, no, I'm illiterate. Okay, um, so you have a scroll that you me. don't know. But I can it's, give it some. It's literally just a piece of paper okay. in your hand. You don't know what it is. I just go over your shoulder and I read it out to you. <clears throat> uh, but I guess it, 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 even, if I, even if she told me what it was, I still couldn't use it. Uh, you could look at, yeah, you can look so at say, it. There's so <clears> much you can do with that. <laughs> These squiggles, uh, they mean nothing to me. Here, you have this. I will use this wisely. So you have a, like a, uh, a, confusion, a scroll of confusion. And did you guys want to buy the, uh, you, you could purchase the jar? It was 33? It was 33. There might be something in the jar. There was, there was something in the what, tube? Yeah. There was something in the tube. There might be something in the jar. Maybe it's an empty jar. I like a gamble. When do we get to spend our money? Let's spend our money. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Splitsies. Splitsies? 15, 16, 17. I have a total of 18. 18, 15. We have, with 54 plus an exquisite perfume, which is Julian, you had how much that you gave us? Was it 15? 15, I think you said. Give them all of your money. Yeah, and you have how much? Yeah. I have like I have 10. a total of 79 if I include oh, the uh, exquisite okay, perfume. Okay, with Julian's 15. Ashway. What? So if we want to go for the high value item, you I have a 66 or 99 for the two. Yeah. yeah. So I have a total of 79 if I include my exquisite perfume, which is tw worth 25 silver. Oh. So. You will. They will accept. Uh, the yeah, that's it. Value yeah. of goods as well in mm -hmm. trade. So I can include. I could give all my silver, but I I really want either the flute or the torch. Those are the only two items that I'm interested in. 
My time is short. I mean, if she's kicking in the bulk of the money, she can carry the flute. What? I just think what? we should have the flute. What? I want to show you five and my flute? I want, I would like the flute. And I just, I take my 15 silver and I pass it over to, what's it, Tark. Mm -hmm. And I say, please, bless, let's combine efforts. Let's get the flute. Just the metal. Let's get the yeah. flute and get in this place. I'm All right. Just the metal of the silver? Yeah. How much is that? It's silver. Yeah. I'm like, all right, shut up and take my nine money. Here's 99 like silver for that flute. The, the, how much was all that? Hmm? How much was all 99 silver that was for the flute? No, 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 that they just pulled together? 99. I mean, I don't know. Oh, oh uh, I have 79, and then she gave me 15. 15. Wait a minute, okay, so I still need more. 94, it's close enough. Yeah. Give them okay, so you need so you five get, more? Get, so yeah. you get the flute. Right. Uh, oh, okay. Please have this flute. Perhaps we will see each other in other worlds. And he passes it over the flute to you, mm -hmm. and pff, gone, disappears. In Ooh, the bright, cool. Same bright blue light that he showed up in. They showed up in. Oh crap! Where did he go? <laughs> Just kind of give a little odd. <laughs> uh, suddenly pff, he bounces back, and I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you. Inside the church, you could save your souls. Uh, look, look for the virgin skull. It will send you to the simmering fields. Do not be eaten. Do not have your soul be consumed by the basilisks. Get to the simmering fields and rest forever. And then pff, disappears again. That sounds sweet. Wait, did my flute? Did he just come back because he knew I was dicking around with the flute? No, no, no. He he, he gave you the flute. You have okay. the flute. You didn't play the flute. Did you play yeah. the flute? Oh, yeah, I was. I was just giving me a little like. Boop. I didn't play you, the you flute. Yeah, you give the flute. Yet. Yeah. Um, you press it to your lips, and it's foul. Taste. There's a like. It's the worst bitter, rotten taste you could ever think of. But you give it a little honk. Yeah, a little honk. I. I... Honk, flute, flute. Uh, so you play a little tune on the mm -hmm. flute, and from um, from down the hill, you he, actually make a presence test, a, roll, a presence roll. What have I done? Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, as you play the flute, you feel that there's something suddenly kind of there's a link to something. It draws you to glance backwards. And from one of the corpses hanging on the path upwards, one of them, all of a sudden, one of them starts to squirm and rustle. And suddenly, the gut distends. And from it drops. From what you can tell is a giant pile of meat. It looks like a pile of meat. Until the pile of meat starts to move. And slowly, move its way towards you. Everyone in the church. Uh, up as you, and eventually you sit there watching in somewhat horror, other fascination. Mm -hmm. um, there is a small, we're gonna call him, a, it a meat golem. <gasps> it's not necessarily human, but it is a sack, a, 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 a semi-humanoid figure made of meat, uh, of I muscle and gore and fed. tendons and blood. And it comes up to you mm -hmm. and just parks itself kind of <laughs> right there, right in front of you. Um, it, it's, you find it somewhat unnerving because it has kind of stunted arms and legs, but a longer than should be body and pushes itself forward on its back legs on its face. So it's kind of like got its butt up in the air and just drags itself. Inchworming across? Inchworming forward using its face as and leaving a trail of gore down the hill. But One. it comes up to you and kind of parks itself beside mm -hmm. you and looks like a small puppy kind of awaiting mm -hmm. a treat or something like that. I instantly imprint on it and love it. No. And I break off half of my wolf meat 
and feed it to the golem and say, mm. I shall call you Pentia. Pentia. Yeah. Uh, it uh, doesn't reach out with a hand, but kind of a pseudopod of mm-hmm. vein and tendon and there's a fly. Um, <laughs> comes out of its shoulder and wraps the piece of wolf meat up and just <laughs> sucks it right back into this body. <laughs> a little uh, shiver and sits there looking, awaiting for you. So you now have... Oh, we've made a friend. You have a meat golem. Sweet. Uh, as a... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm really excited as, as a golem. friend. It does, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's following you around. Yeah. You've, you've summoned a meat golem, it'll do your bidding. Wonderful. Uh, I'm just gonna turn and be like, that's, uh, that's, that's weird. And I'm just gonna uh, walk inside the church door. I don't trust it. I'd like to lean down and just give it like a little, like a little nuzzle with my fist <laughs> and say like, hello there, new friend. It's You're Pentia. so beautiful. It, it, it doesn't have a face or skin. It's just kind of like, I, give it, be, I bump its meat. I give it yeah, a bump. Give it, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it jiggles appreciatively. Oh, that's nice. Which is. I love you. Come, Pantia. We uh, should go into the church to perhaps find a way to get to this Shivering fields? This guy. You can come. It's gone. Mm-hmm. He disappears. Gone. Okay, um, inside the church, um, you hear kind of some creaking and groaning of perhaps some timbers that have been um, past their weight limit at this point. The, at this point, the, the church has been, it wasn't a recent fire, but there's still things smoldering after as they do, they're underground. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the church is a wreck. Mm-hmm. You guys want to go inside? Um, can I check to make sure it's safe to walk in? Hell check for yeah. traps or the stability of the floor? Uh, yeah, um, you roll, uh, make a presence roll. 20. Uh, oh, a natural 20? Uh, no, 19 plus one. Uh, yeah, you notice it's sketchy, mm-hmm. um, but it doesn't, like the doors look, the, the majority of the fire was towards the back of the church as you're moving in front. It does it like it seems you could get in and mm-hmm. from what you can tell, perhaps move into the church without too much problem. Okay. Awesome. Is everybody in there with me? Uh, I'd like to I went burst first, through yeah. the doors, yes. You're going in? Yeah, I'd like you're to going fully in? run I was, in. I was trying to jump in right away. Okay. <laughs> um I think do these move? Yeah, they kinda and you move your way into the church. Not into the middle, but like in the entrance way, you know. Mm, oh, oh. Come here, you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Amazing. What? Man, you guys. <clears throat> Sweet. Every time, knock it out of the park. Um, this is delightful. <laughs> just, just for. Just for view and just so you can see. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, who's going to take? Uh, I went in first. You going in first? Yeah. You got Charlie with you? Yeah. Charles. I think I'm. I think I'm just, just going to nickname him Weezy from now Weezy, on. Weezy. Weezy yeah. is. I know. I keep on screwing the name up. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> is there? Uh, the rest of you are slowly moving mm-hmm. in. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Who's going to take? Who's going to take point? Who's going in first? There's only uh, enough for two of you. No, to I'm. Get in I'm down to go in yeah. first. Okay. Uh, Bismuth in and mm-hmm. who else? I'll go in. You want to go in? Yeah, I'm ready to run I'll, ha- I'll hang back uh, our, chatting. Our smushiest players. Like, little I'm whisper, whispering <laughs> secrets to Pantia. Which one Seems was like who? a great idea. Who's who? You guys all look exactly the I'm same. hanging in the back or around at least like one of the broken pews. Who's the daggers and who's two daggers? I'm two daggers. Two daggers, okay, you're moving in. I was hanging around one of the broken pews. Well, you're not inside yet. Mm-hmm. What? You're not inside yet. What? Oh. Eh, eh, eh. And then your yeah. little meat golem yeah. go pushes his way. He's kind of slow though. Oh, it takes buddy. A while to move. Oh, he's so precious. Yeah, mm-hmm. just, his little meat butt is in the air. Oh. Uh, he only has like he only has like two appendages at the end of his. It's like a tube with two little things like that. And he just eh, 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 and pushes. This flute got more yeah, uses. Boy. Can I just like give it another like peep to see if something else happens? Uh, it tastes disgusting, but nothing happens at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's it's like you're just like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, uh, 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 all right. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll make a uh, give me a toughness roll. Real quick. Toughness roll. Oh shit. For the second honk on the flute. Four. Four. You puke. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. It's you don't like it. 
Can I, I go to, to Pantia and I'm like, do you want to eat that? Eat my puke? Can I scan uh, just for like anything in front of me if there's anything that like catches my eye as far as the point of interest in the in the open church? Um, the church is obviously burnt. There is a altar off the top and a, looks like a sacrificial, a bowl of some sort that is brimming with blood. Um, there is a pile of, uh, a pile of what was were would would be corpses, but it just looks like pieces of corpses, kind of piled up beside the altar. Um, there's a a um, some sort of symbol in the middle. Uh, you recognize it as the symbol of Necrovel, uh, and blood kind of pooling in the center of where the symbol would be, or where the symbol is. Um, it looks like it looks like obviously some sacrifices had been done on the top of the altar and move down into this symbol. As an uh, escaped cult member, can I, like, see if I know anything about, like, what has happened here? Because this uh, seems very culty. Yeah, the, the, the cultists are, are there, they're known to make sacrifices. And yeah. um, they, you know, before it had been once per, uh, once a monthly thing. This looks like it's been very busy lately. The, um, the last, within the, the Pentagram circle, is it done in like chalk or something? Uh, it's, it's been painted on the ground. It seems like a, a, a fixture. Some of it is actually like kind of like carved. Mm -hmm. It's been okay, there. Okay, so we couldn't while. like easily break that circle. Break the circle? Uh, I mean like like erase a piece of it kind of yeah, thing? Or yeah, or just scrape it out. Uh, no, no, it's okay. like a, it's, it's there. Mm -hmm. It's permanent. It's there. So, I, don't ahead. walk in the circle. Uh, Wheezy has a, uh, a superb nose and can sniff, can sniffle up treasure in the most disgusting debris. So can I send him on a little treasure hunt for this virgin skull and see if he can find where, even even just like a sniff of the direction or the area we should be going to, to search for said skull? Yeah, where he can't move far because he's kind of decrepit. Like he can bite and stuff like that. But let's say, where which, which way would you like him to uh, I, like, I mean, I guess like if he's sniffing it out, can I just kind of see if he can catch a scent of where it kinda, might be? He kind of moves up into the center here and he's sniffing at the blood. Uh, in the circle? The circle. Uh, yeah, he's in the circle, yeah. He's, he's checking out the blood. Um, <laughs> what did I nothing say? Nothing really seems to happen. The <laughs> what did I say? The rest of you want to move in? Uh, yeah, I'll stay close to, to, to Wheezy. Uh, yeah, do you, you guys want to move into as well? Um, I'll, I'll move into the, the, the cathedral. Into, but into the door. And through the yeah. door frame, yeah. All through the door. Um, and can I move anywhere else? Uh, for now, we'll just call it like that. For now, um, there's pieces, there's shattered pieces of stained glass all over the floor. Broken timbers, the pews uh, have all are all burnt and tossed asunder. These brown things are those mausoleums? These are would be kind of like confessionals, maybe uh, kind okay. of thing, like mm -hmm. doored, walled off things. Ooh, time to confess our sins. I want to go to each one and kind of just pull it back to make sure there's nobody hidden in there. Which one would you like? Uh, to the one like closest to like furthest away from me. Like here, kind of thing? furthest uh, away. Furthest away on the other side. Oh, over here. Uh, yeah, but the cl sorry, the closest to me. Yeah, that one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number one. Yeah. Uh, you are two daggers or one dagger. Oh, one one dagger. dagger. One dagger. Okay, you kind of move up here uh, as you move up to mm -hmm. kind of pushing past a broken hue. You mm -hmm. hear, uh, uh, make a, a presence roll. Nine. Nine. Um, yeah, you hear, uh, off the side, you kind of hear a bit of whimpering towards the front of the, mm -hmm. of the thing. Okay. Um, while this is happening, um, you're slowly moving in. You notice that, uh, in the corners of the room where there's some flames had been smoldering, but some smoldering flames are starting to light. As you open the front doors, you introduce a, a large gust of wind mm -hmm. and uh, come on now. Uh, and while you do that, it seems that some has started some small spot fires Aww. In the corners of. There's some embers? That's not Yeah, great. there were some embers, and this fresh gust of wind has stoked the embers. It's a preternatural fire. Yeah, causing some. Right here. 
here. Causing some small fires to burn. They're not really encroaching on you, um, but they're definitely burning and causing kind of some smoke in the lower layer. You're not being choked by the smoke because there's no roof to left. This leftover is obviously right. burnt down and no. falled in, no. um, but there are some small flames. Um, yeah, Lauren, you hear uh, some, you hear the sounds of some whimpering and mm -hmm. general sounds of distress coming from up in the next couple mm -hmm. areas. Shh, Hal, I can't hear. Is that you? Shush. <laughs> Um, can I bolt over to the one in the the fire in the far corner and see if I can stamp it out with my feet? Down here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can get, uh, is that what you want to do? Yeah, you want to get up to run right up to this one? Yeah, here? yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll say this one, this one isn't here. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, two, two daggers. Uh, two daggers, two yeah. Daggers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you make your way right up to about there and suddenly from in between two of the confessionals, Silent as death. The skeleton lurks out. Wow. <laughs> now you done it. And oh, crap. I'm going to uh, take a stab at you. you as they do. Yeah, you're cut your surprise. It made no sound whatsoever. Next thing you know, there's just a. It's not like a skeleton. It's got a lot of meat left on it. It's kind of like been Ooh. flayed, but like flayed extra hard. So there's kind of like there's still enough connective tissue that Flesh. keeps going, but it's gross. Brutal, uh, he, nasty. Yeah, he's going to, uh, Delicious. Um, he's going to take a swing at you. Roll to defend, please. Add your, what is it? Uh, agility modifier, roll a d20. Uh, 16. 16, oh, yeah. yeah. You, he swings and misses. Nice. Um, at this point, I guess uh, we should roll initiative mm -hmm. because they are attacking you. Let's see who goes first. Three. Uh, all of you roll a uh, roll for initiative, which is what is the D6, D6 plus your uh, agility? Yeah. I have three. What, sorry? Oh, D6, D6 plus agility. Yeah. For initiative? Yeah. D6? D6 plus agility? Seven. Three. Seven. Oh, that was out. Five. Five. That's a seven. Uh, three, seven, seven, five. Sure is. Uh, oh. Roll off oh, right. yeah. the two sevens to see, roll another uh, D6 if it gets higher. Five. Two. Two, okay. So now the five. No, I'm what about the fives? I'm still sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a five and a two, wasn't it? Or five yeah. and a three. Yeah. You get three? I have so three. Julian, Ash. So Julian, Ash, Josh, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Ash, Julian, Josh. Ash. Yeah, I won that out. <laughs> Julian. That's what I said. Josh. Stab him. Lauren. <laughs> okay. Um, that skeleton has already gone uh, as another one. Sli silently, without warning, creeps out. Towards uh, truck, Turk. Tark, roll to defend. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, give roll. me that 20. Roll oh. to defend. It's okay. Uh, oh, 21. What? What did, what did you roll? I rolled the... <laughs> oh, every time I see this, and I'm like, what? What is that? That's the 21 on this dice. It's die. You, you roll, what was your original roll? Without 21. The, without the modifier. Yeah. You can't roll a 21 on a d20. Oh, 20 then. Oh, so you rolled it, what did you roll? Is it 20-20? Yeah. Oh, so you rolled, so you got a critical hit. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so I'm sorry. You, oh, so I you was, critically uh, defended. Yes. I should say. Okay, got it. I was temporarily distracted reading scroll things. Um, you get uh, this, this skeleton, as silent as it is, mm -hmm. comes down and swings at you, and you happen to get a full view of it and mm -hmm. just casually glance aside. Mm -hmm. You're slick enough to get a, an attack on it right now. Yeah, all right. So roll that 20. All right. 16. 16, uh, I believe, definitely hits. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. All right. Uh, roll some damage. What kind of, what are you hitting with? With my spear, uh, one. You roll, you get, he gets one point, so. Yeah. Right through all the ribs. Yep. 
Make him into a shish kebab. That is one. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay. Uh, they have both made themselves known. Suddenly, yes, you are in the midst of two uh, silent, blood-drenched skeletons that are now moving towards you. Towards uh, me? Uh, well, uh, one is coming this way. Mm-hmm. One is coming this way. Oh, jeez. And the other two, the rest of y'all are hanging on. for the likes. Hanging on the little thing. Uh, we are in initiative. So, first up, F-E-M. Okay. Um, I just want to look at this skeleton and go, oh, I wonder if this one's a virgin. And I take my crowbar and I swing right for its neck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and your strength. Oh, that is a 18. 21. Oh, that definitely hits. It does what, D6? D4, unfortunately. Four. Roll that D4. Even against bones. Roll, those, seems... roll that triangle. Oh. Uh, will you take one that's up on the side? Is that cool? Doesn't uh, matter. It's cocked. No, roll again. Okay. Definite roll. Cocked. Like this. Two. A two? I got a two. That's two points of damage. Okay, great. And sorry, you're up here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Okay. Next up, uh, I'm gonna look over at dump truck and I'm gonna say, "I'll take left, you go right, and then I'll move." Can I make it to the the, the, the skeleton in 30 feet on the Down left? Here? Uh, the skeleton on the left. Over here. Yeah, can I make that in 30 feet? And you're here. Uh, no. Um, okay. Uh, Make it about this way, about here. I guess I will. Uh, I'll just double move. Then I'll move me and Wheezy that far. So move you both up to yeah. right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the both of you. So you got left. Up. I got right. Rush up <coughs> to assist. Yes. Rush up to assist and attack this silent, creepy skeleton. Uh, next up. Where are we? Where are we are. Yeah, so Sometimes. I'm rushing up uh, on the right. This guy? Yeah, right. not in the circle. Okay. <laughs> kind of go straight, uh, straight in? <laughs> no, 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 not straight through, just kind of around it. You have to go you know, right. around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of make yeah. it uh, whoop, 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 whoop. What do you want? You could probably make it here. Yeah, make it oh, that far. There, that's yeah. good. And uh, crossbow pulled, cocked. You shoot him? Locked. Yeah, shoot him. Uh, you gotta beat a 14 on this one. <laughs> okay. With your... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 14. And you add your, with your presence? Uh, presence is zero, but I got 14. Okay, yeah, you managed to get him. Uh, roll some damage for that. Uh, D8. There it is. A one. <laughs> a, a, a one. Uh, where is, uh... Okay, yeah, you get a... You know, a do one point of damage. It sticks, <laughs> it sticks in. doesn't really... It kind of just goes in him. It's like... <laughs> it doesn't really... It, it looks like it, it's in him, but it doesn't really look like he was too bothered with it. Right. But you did a little bit of damage. Oh, I got him! Uh, <laughs> next up. <laughs> Tark. Yes. I got that one. I got it right that time. You did. Okay, so there's a there's a skeleton right beside me. There is. I'm on the other side. Yeah. A skeleton right beside you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wheel around and pick up my spear and kind of like aim to jab it right through the eye socket. Okay. The spear. Yeah. Got it. Oop, shit. Eight. Eight. You uh, swing and you manage to you miss it. Yeah, it, it it does a weird lanky mm-hmm. jerky thing, mm-hmm. and you miss kind of like you cut some of the cloth up in mm-hmm. the uh, mm-hmm. thing. But uh, can I so. uh, rapidly backtrack away from him? Uh, you can attempt to. It may it may get a poke at you. Mm. But it may. It might not. It'll try if you try to get out of its range. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get out of its range. Where would you like to go? Um, I am going to go kind of. Back, yeah, like going backwards. No, not to the fire, like towards the altar. 
Uh, this way here? Yeah. Uh, okay, first. Where um, uh, Bismuth is, I think. Oh, he's oh, no, trying to get I'm all sorry. the way across there? Uh, track. No. You want to try uh, to get track. there? Yeah, I want to get beside okay. Dump Truck. Okay, uh, first, let's see. Dump Truck. Okay, he misses with his initial attack, so you do get to move away without him attacking you. Mm -hmm. um, there are problem is there are two pews in your way. Uh, I would like you to make a uh, make an agility roll. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, you vault across the first one <laughs> like it's absolutely nothing. Dope. Uh, you, it's super impressive. Mm -hmm. Like it just. Yeah, you kind of like do like a round off mm -hmm. and like kind of backflip at the same time. I make it look really sweet. It looks super rad. Yeah. And with that, with a 20, I'll say you can get right up next to him. I say, I say come Pantia. Uh, oh, your little guy, uh, he only moves, uh, he can barely make it to there. <laughs> You're just sludging along. Yeah, he's just, he's literally like an Poor inch little more. bastard. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so he's just kind of hanging out out there in the middle of the... I wonder if Pantia will grow. It's kind of cute, but... Yeah. It's kind of not. <laughs> I think it's bloody disgusting. Disgustingly yeah. adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Has, uh, movement and done things like that. Okay. Uh, skelly one, it will... Oh, geez. Um... This first, this skeleton here will see he can't really get past. He's seen you do a sweet move mm -hmm. and jump across those things. And where it is just a skeleton, uh, he does know how to attack the nearest target and will move up to Pantioch. <gasps> and try to, uh, no. what does this guy got here? He's just going to, we're gonna say, actually. Defend Pantia, defend. What, let's see, what, what do we get? What is he, what is he wielding? I see this from behind with one of my any, many eyes and go, no! <laughs> okay, yeah, he's going to, he has a, a rust, uh, an old, that's not old, it looks pretty good actually, it's a relatively new, he's got a sword. You mm -hmm. take a little swing, uh, roll to defend. Uh, roll what's for a 20? to defend. All right. Yeah, roll that 20. 10. Uh, 10, no, he oh. gets stabbed. <laughs> It's, it's so pathetic too. Like it's just this squirming little bag of meat and there's this gnarly, gnarly ass skeleton coming up to him. Mm -hmm. He's just like, hang, 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 like little army of darkness kind yeah. of thing, like creepy. <laughs> and he just, he literally just clap and speared <gasps> down and he does, oh sorry. Uh, okay, so Pantioch has five hit points. Oh, okay. So you know, and he does a D4 bite attack. Oh shit! So do when I do I roll a D four? You do. Uh, well, he's he's got to be able to bite someone, right? He's yeah. Not he's not there yet. Uh, I'm currently stabbing him. Oh, I see. Uh, he does three points. He loses three hit points. <gasps> so, My Miko. Uh, yeah. He fortunately, you know, he's got a lot of like he doesn't have any real internal organs, mm -hmm. and he's just like a bunch of like mm -hmm. guts and awful held together mm -hmm. by magic. But this stab has also kind of cut away some of that magic. And yeah, uh, you take a little hit. That that's that skeleton's move. Uh, this one here you. will uh, uh, go to swing and attack you. Oh, uh, this is yeah, that's you. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Okay. You both have capes and hoods. <laughs> <laughs> he will attack you. Uh, roll to defend. Okay. Attack with what? Ooh. Oh, a two. Yeah, he hacks you good. Um, he mm. has a... It's been good knowing you, friend. He also has a short <laughs> sword. Um, so he's going to do d4 damage to you. Minus... You have armor? Uh, yeah, I have armor. Minus uh, d2. Oh, okay. He does two points of damage, so minus d2, so he doesn't do anything. Uh, okay. In there. Um... At this point, uh, there is, uh, everybody give me a presence roll. Oh, oh that's not good. Oh. Fifteen. Five. Five. Fifteen. Stop rolling. Four. Fifteen, five, fifteen, four. Uh, the high rolls, um, suddenly you, you see some, especially uh, where, where you're here and you had, what do you have, fifteen as well? Fifteen, yeah. Um, yeah, well, you, the two high people, 
or the two high rollers, two high people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so high. Uh, you, you hear out of the corner of your ear amongst all the chaos and, well, not, there's not chaos because the skeletons are quiet. It's deadly silent in here, actually. You're not hearing a lot. It's just like some grunts. All you hear is the skeletons don't make any noise. You hear a small, like, <laughs> as Pantyok tried to, like, <laughs> moves his way over and then <laughs> as he gets stabbed. Um, as you hear this, you hear a bunch of blood splat to the floor. You hear a, a very splashing sound. <laughs> um, up towards on the altar and a, like a, a shower of blood and gore <laughs> hits the front of the altar. And you look up and amongst the rack, rafters, you hear a creaking noise and some small ashes uh, flickering, kind of um, little sparks kind of fall down from the still burning embers. And from the top, you see a giant figure looming uh, uh, oh above you. No. Oh no. Oh fuck, man. And suddenly, it drops down, smashing the altar and landing. <laughs> <up top. laughs> Look at that beast. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, who's up next. We're in danger. Uh, <laughs> Look, Pantia, if you live it long enough, you could grow as big as that. That very large meat golem. Is that a meat golem? Uh, it looks like it is. It looks like it's been patched together from a couple of dozen corpses. <gasps> the flute. Uh, there is <laughs> the, just re- human-sized corpses. Though there's random bones just sticking out, multiple skulls, fifteen or like you know five different skulls all around its head. Gross. But in the middle lies a skull that is gleaming gold <gasps> oh. and lights. Eyes are like glowing, and it kind of like sings uh, the what would be an angelic skull. tune, but has now been turned into like it start. It, it, it goes from uh, an angelic song to the worst screeching horror that you've ever had. Um, and yeah. you, you have a feeling this this might. It's, it looks like the foretold skull of the Virgin Skull that will get you into. Pretty much. Okay. The skull the literally, blue child told us about. This literally, this is the most probably one of the most valuable holy relics left in the world at this point. So there's not a lot of salvation left for you, and this might be the mm-hmm. one thing that gets you where you need to go. Uh, as that happens as well, uh, he jostles a couple flames. Some embers fall down from the top. Ah oh, crap! What? Okay, hold on, we're gonna say one, odds, evens. And some fire starts up in this corner here. Uh, It's not really encroaching at the moment, um, but uh, these these two that have started previously. Can I I do some sort of roll to uh, assess for weaknesses? Of? of uh, the gleaming skull, mini-bodied monster. Uh, it's not yet your turn, I don't believe. No, I guess okay. not. We'll get to you when we can. FEM, I believe it is your turn. Oh, crap. There's still, uh, you still got two skeletons. Am I am I restricted to movement and action or can I like call out and say words as well? Uh, you can do that as a free action, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for those that uh, didn't roll high, um, through the back of my head, I see this thing kind of plop down, and I scream out, "Holy fuck! Um, a bigger problem, bigger, much bigger problem mm-hmm. here, guys." Yeah, he's a big problem. Um, just so that they're aware, and then I try and take another crack at this skeleton with my trusty crowbar. Which one? I keep on. If I may. You're this guy. Nope, two daggers. Two there daggers. you go. I'm gonna break that down. Yep, roll to hit him. And that is a... a... You gotta beat a, this one? You got daggers? 
You're, you're, what are you talking with, Tori? Oh, you're crowbar. Oh, uh, crowbar. Crowbar, right. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, oh. And that would be strength, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, 13. 13, yeah, you smack him. Nice. Uh, you get him really good. Where do you want him? Uh, I'm, I'm just still going for the neck. Just going for the, yeah. up this area? Yeah. Okay. That's my goal. Get that damage. Uh, four. Four. All right. He, uh, yeah, he, you, he literally, you, you, you knock his jaw off. He goes flying across the thing. Mm. There's like, now there's left, his tongue is still in there. And it's just like, <laughs> like if he could make noise, he would, but he can't. So his tongue is just kind of like flapping <laughs> of the bottom of his throat. Gnarly. Um, that's, that's right. How much damage was that? Uh, four. Four. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, do you want to? Oh, you're still snug up right up against him. You want to move? Um, yeah, that little um, hut pew thing that he came out of. Uh, he was in between these two. Oh, he was in between these two. Yeah. Um, but the. F oh. There's a fire right here. Can I jump on top of the fire and see jump if I can on top stamp of the it fire? out? Oh, is it a full fire? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, you could try to put the fire out if you'd like to. I would like to try to put uh, the fire out. Roll me a toughness. You're gonna die. Beat me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> My beat toughness it. has a minus two. Yeah, I walk yeah. on fire. Beat, uh, you're gonna need to beat a 14. All these monsters. You can do it. 15. Oh, I got a 15. Okay, Yay. yeah, you managed to somehow, like you just, you're dancing all over the place. There's small fires, but you just managed to grind it out. Um, okay, yeah, we'll we'll say that you did that. That one's gone. Nice, man, Alen was right. I should have made you move and then your next turn stamp it out, but that's fine. Well, I did not see that. Live and learn. I'm, le I'm learning this game as we go. <laughs> yeah, we're learning this as we go. Okay, so one fire is down. Nice. Um, but there is still, oh, because you tried to move away from the skeleton. Mm. Oh, yeah, he uh, swings and misses and actually his with his sword, he smacks the edge of it and breaks his sword. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a sword. Was it a nat one? It was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. uh, Okay. Jump uh, skeleton. Next up would be Julian. Uh, I'm just going to uh, just charge straight at the altar. You want to go up to this guy? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to go. Uh, you want to go right up to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I uh, should be to the left. Uh, on this side? This side? Uh, yeah. Are you there? Sure. And then... Um, oh, no, sorry. You're, this is you. Yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. Um, you want to be up here? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then... Am I... Like, I'm in an attacking range. I can hit him in the... You can either attack angles. or move the doge. Uh, I'm going to just full on attack this dude. Okay. Uh, we'll just go flail attack. Yeah, make an attack. That's a natural 20. Oh, natural Ooh, 20. Wait. Okay. Uh, Amazing. Yep, yeah, that'll definitely hit. What do we do with crits? Uh, okay, roll for um, oh, some damage. Okay. And is there any modifiers? Because uh, Well, uh, damage you don't add a modifier. Right? Okay. Oh, that's, wait. Nope, sorry. That's a d10. My apologies. Uh, there we go. That's a six damage. Six. Okay. Nice. Starts with... But with the crit, isn't the damage, like, multiplied? He said double damage on a crit. Yeah. So oh, okay. Yeah. Damage. Nice. Oh, that is. Yeah. Uh, Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant by multiplier. But. Oh no, sorry. He does. He does have some armor. Of course. So for that hit, it is. Okay. Yeah, you run up and smack him in the shin. It does really good. Busts a bunch of the bones. Sweet. Makes like some gross meat spray all over the place. Uh, and you have his attention. Uh, next up would be the dump truck. Dump truck. <laughs> um, well, I notice uh, Oh, Bismuth. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I noticed Bismuth going into attack and uh, did like an amazing strike. So obviously I already have my crossbow cocked, going right, and I see that golden skull, and I'm like, do I want to hit it? 
probably not. So I want to go for somewhere that it has focus, like its eye or some kind of like focal range. I mean, there's no eyes. He's got like there's just like, flesh, there's like thirty skulls. All well, how's this thing moving? It's just skulls. I mean, and... it's he's yeah. It's let's go with the let's go with the mini right. Okay. Now. All right. Well, I aim for that. You're just gonna skull. shoot him. Don't don't you can't pick. Don't don't pick a target. Just you're gonna shoot him. Shoot him. All right, I'll shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to describe what I want to do. Let's make this harder than it needs to be, Josh. Come on. We're running out of time already. (laughs) That 20. Oh, okay. Yes! Yes! Uh, I'll just do this. I'll flick over. You done with it. Yeah, roll some more damage. Um, I'm sorry, Chris. Five. Five. Yeah, you shoot him really good. It's it, it it seems like it strikes off the glowing skull in the middle, which seems to like shake it a little bit. The bolt hits it. Yeah, the bolt it doesn't pierce it. It kind of just kind of glances off, sticks in its side, but it, it sends kind of like a, a shock through its whole like body structure. Do you want to move? Uh, I would love to move towards the fire behind me. Uh, back here? Yeah. Uh, well, there's some pews in the way. Is there? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff kind of in your way here. Okay. Uh, I got extreme agility skills. Well, roll in agility. All right. Twenty. Seriously? Eighteen <laughs> plus two, my man. Uh, no. Do what the dice says. Uh, <laughs> Let me see those dice. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Just get over to the second. Get over the second set of pews. <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. That's all, all right. All right, uh, next up. Okay, um, does Pantia have an attack? Tark. Who? Sorry? Does Pantia have an attack? Yeah, but he has to get... Uh, yeah, he has an attack, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he's he's right there. Yeah. Um, so, would I be able to... Like, if I asked Pantia to attack, would that be the only thing I could do for that turn? Uh, you could either move or attack. Okay. Uh, and what kind of attack, like, do you know what kind of, like, is it worth it? What kind of damage? Bites for a d4. Uh, I'd be like, Antia, flee! As I start running towards the, the skeleton. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna chuck my spear at it. You, you're gonna throw a spear? Oh, at the skeleton. Oh, at, at the skeleton? Yeah. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to throw it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make a, an agility throw. Make an agility roll. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Yeah. That hits him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll some damage. Okay. Two. Two. And does he have skeleton uh, armor? Or no. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, the spear, you throw the spear, mm-hmm. it flies, lodges in its body. Uh, it's still it's still alive, mm-hmm. and you no longer have your spear. It is on, it's impaled in the mm-hmm. skeleton. Uh, did you, you moved, didn't you? Yeah? Uh, no, I stayed there, move? but I asked Pantia to flee. Right, okay. Uh, so, well, you could say, you could get him to try to do something. Asking him won't cost you an like. Oh, so I could ask him to attack? Or? Uh, if you didn't move, yeah. you attacked. Mm-hmm. And I guess he could probably attack as well. Okay, yeah, but like, Panty attack! <laughs> and it just kind of like moves over. It's mm-hmm. gross. Uh, yeah, make a roll. All right. Roll to attack. This one's going to be high. I'm going to set this one at uh, a 14. It's a 14. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they don't have. Okay, yeah, roll a d4. All right. For damage. Four. Four points of damage? Yeah. yeah. Good job, Panty. Good rolls all around oh, over the last little bit. Kneeling it. Yeah. Uh, Except for the wolf fiasco. Yeah. yeah. Pantyok manages to get up on his little stubby legs mm-hmm. and just go for what would be, I guess he rips, he goes for like a knee and mm-hmm. pulls the knee right out, uh, actually pulls the leg right out. The whole skeleton falls to the floor. And somehow the little meat baby has finished off that skeleton. Yeah! Pantyok, so eat. 
<laughs> Damn, I wanted that skeleton so bad. Uh, okay, uh, that's, the end of, uh, that's the end of your guys' turn. He's okay, third uh, third skeleton gosh. one will come and attack that's two wrong. daggers. Now I got the hell ground. Roll to defend, please, FEM. Uh, it's a nine. Nine. And no modifiers, right? Uh, I mean, you add your, what is it, defense would be agility? Uh, Unless you got plus three. Nine, that wouldn't be a ten. A ten still hits, unfortunately. Uh, but he only has a, he's only hitting you with, he's unarmed. Uh, he does two points of damage to you. You got negative Minus D2 for my armor. So he <laughs> glances off. Clean <laughs> sucker. Uh, okay. Um, now, uh, bad guy. Uh, he sees his little minion there. He is going to leap down. And he will. What does this guy got on the left? Uh, he will reach forward and grab the skeleton that is left and crush him in his hands. And with his other hand, just force the leftovers of the skeleton into his body. Okay, so it's good that we killed uh, him. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. Feeling it kind of thing. So did it absorb his hit points? He just absorbed all, he absorbed the entire skeleton, yes. Ooh, and, do not get close to this guy. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it's not great, but. If you're a skeleton. Mm -hmm. If you're a skeleton. Yeah, but I mean, how do you know you won't get absorbed? They're all skeletons on the inside, right? It doesn't really matter. Sure. Uh, and then he will take a second attack. Oh. Uh, with the first one, he grabs Crap. it, squishes it in, crushes it forward. Second hand comes down, drops a hammer on FEM. Oh, sorry, you roll to defend. What am I doing? You can do this. You got Crap. This. Hang in there. Don't forget to use an omen. If you it have was nice to know you. We need it. Oh, I do have an omen. Yeah, yeah thank you. 11. Uh, 11 does not uh, save. Uh, did you want to use an omen? Uh, yeah, I think I'll use that that omen. What are you going to use it for? Um, Reroll? Trying to get back to the omen. What we got here? You can. Uh, so, uh, so you, you could, could reroll a dice. Yeah. You could lower by D eight, a D6. And I'll just that's go for about the it right now. Reroll. Well, the, the lower uh, by D6. Oh. You could reroll a yeah. dice. Damage. Reroll a dice, yeah, so I could reroll. I mean. But the lower D6 is like damage, isn't it? You could lower the damage by yeah. D6. Yeah. As well. You might want to do that because. If Say you re-roll dice, you could damage. get exact same dice. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're you're gonna get you might and how much probably gonna get hit. What's the difficulty on it? Uh, of of what? Sorry. Of defending this. Defend uh, defending w w is a twelve. Yeah. Go for the reroll. Can I, can I reroll to, to defend? Can I do that? Yeah. Yep. Because you have armor, and then say you're now defending with an omen. Well, your armor, your armor doesn't gut, make Ash. you defend. Your armor actually makes go. you easier to hit. Go with your gut. Uh, mm -hmm. Not in your case, because you yeah. only have light armor, but if you have heavy armor, yeah. you have, it's yeah. easier to hit you. you I'm going to go for the reroll rather than the decreased damage. Subtracts right. from okay, the amount of damage. Try that 20 again. Oh, crap. You can do it. 16. Uh, ah! 16. You managed to dodge it again. And he just. Swings, misses. Um, when it, with his swing, he managed to swing, or he swings around a 360, uh, catching one of the pews. Uh, while he does this, he smacks into Charlie with one of the pews by accident, sending him flying. Get up. See, look at him, he actually has it. Shit. Uh, Charlie's gonna do, Charlie's gonna take a little damage. He's gonna take two points of damage for Charles. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, Charles the dog got smoked and got smacked up against the altar. What? <laughs> yeah, that's just what happens when the bad guy hit. <laughs> uh, okay, who's, uh, that is it for him. Um, back to the Ash, top. Yeah, back to the top. Oh, yeah. I'm attacking now. Yeah, it's your turn again. Got it, 100%. Uh, get that mother. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, we'll get there. Proceed. Um, 
I mean, I guess I'm just gonna crang him in the back of the head with the trusty crowbar. I don't want to use the femur because he might absorb it. <laughs> While this all happens, this fire what? relights. <laughs> yeah, you did a shitty job of stomping it up. You, what? What do you? You, didn't, you don't have a hose. You don't have water. You just try <laughs> to stomp it out. It burns. Starts burning again. Okay, fair enough. It's fine. Um. Am I close enough to crank him in the back of the head with a crowbar? Uh, I mean, yeah, you're, you could get up to him, yeah, yeah. Or the back of the... You can't really get to the back of his head unless you want to, like, climb up to the top of his, but it doesn't really have a head. Tailbone. Yeah. Can I hit tailbone? Sure. Great. Roll I'm going for tailbone. Back. 20. Not natural. Oh, uh, yeah, you hit him. Nice. Nice. Damage. You still with your, your uh, crowbar? Yeah. Four. Four points of damage. Yeah, you hit him. He's pissed. He smacks him on the ass. He <laughs> take a piece of, there's a piece of, like, a chip of bone goes flying off. Piece of meat. Hits. Nope. Do oh. I still have movement, or uh, I, I guess you could probably, yeah, you could probably it. move, yeah. I would get out of that corner, too, because it's on fire. Yeah. Um, I'd like to run towards, like, the, the altar. Jump Either up here. on it or beside it or whatever I can get to. Uh, we'll say on. that gives it, uh, let's see, 10. You want to get on top of it? If I can, you yeah. You probably just get it right on top of it. Sick. It's slick with blood. Yeah. Bad That's footing, it. got it. That's good. Uh, next up. <clears throat> and then, is he, he's out of my range now? He's like five, 10 feet away? Uh, right? Yeah, you're, oh, what do you have? You only have a flail? That's, yeah, you have to be right up close to him. Uh, okay, cool. Um, uh, and then I didn't really necessarily see where Wheezy got knocked. Was he right beneath my feet, kind of, technically? Uh, yeah, or? he's right kind of down below you, yes. All right. Um, I'm going to... Can animals be healed with the medicine? Yeah, any creature can. I mean, it'll take okay. a, it'll, you, you can't uh. just do it like that. No. Um, it'll take some time. Like a round? Uh, at least, yeah. Because it's animal, two rounds. You can't just, like... Same well, thing I mean, for like, a meat gall. Yeah, what what's the last time you gave your cat a pill? I give a pill every day. Yeah, okay, well. And she takes it like a charm. Yeah, because they're old. <laughs> it's true. She's used to it. Like, what are you trying to give it a regular? She animal? knows it's It'll, medicine. She It'll likes take, it. You won't be able to heal them just like that. It'll take a bit. Shoving uh, some medicine down the meat. I'll move towards them. Um, okay. uh, towards the bad guy? Yeah, I'll try. I'll kind of like. Do you want to get uh, off the altar? Or yeah. off the area? Uh, the you? pew is kind of in on his right, kind of like it's in the way here. Yeah. yeah, or I was wondering, can I go to the side of him rather than directly in front of him? Over here? Yeah, is that, is that too close to the fire? Uh, no, no. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'll go I'll go to that side there, just so I'm to the side of him, not directly in front of him. Uh, so off to his side? Yeah. Okay. Attack him. And that is a 19. These people rolling good. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, okay, yeah, you hit him, yeah. And D8 is this one here. And that's seven damage. <laughs> In the midst, uh, can you do like a random call out to your, your friends? In the middle of battle or do you have to wait for your turn? Uh, do a random call out for what, sorry? I just want to shout over at uh, Lauren. Am I allowed to do that or do I have to wait? Role play it, that's fun. Okay. Um, I just want to shout out to, oh crap, I keep forgetting your name. Tark. Tark. Um, don't let the sweet baby get absorbed by the golem. Are you or the other, or the giant meat thing. There's yeah, baby obviously I'm baby. not gonna get Hal get eaten. He's my child. The other sweet little meat baby. <gasps> oh yes, yes, I know. I'm gonna. Uh, yes. Bismuth, while you were doing your last attack, uh, chat would like to, to do something gross. So, <laughs> sweet. Uh, 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 I kind of just like kick my boot off because um, I have um, whatever it's. I have uh, really gross feet. Mm. So, I'm just gonna kind of like kick my boot off and just start like pulling some of the uh, dead skin off my feet as it's like you just kind of see some flies buzzing around so it. So, like, so while you swing, you swing and hit. And while you do it, you kind of follow through with your with your foot, and your boot goes flying across the room, and you're just. I don't know about right across in. the you room. Can't, you, well, I mean, you, I don't you, know you lose your room, boot, but it's I lose my boot. You lose your boot, but I mean, okay. uh, that's uh, it's not going to hinder. You. <laughs> uh, but you instantly like you see how gnarly your feet are, and you can't. You just go in. Start, yeah, I'll start. You know, it's so hard. Taking some, <laughs> yeah, taking some shave like into it. It's bleeding. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you, you scratch so you bleed. Uh, okay, <laughs> dump truck. Uh, so the fire closest to me, I'm stepping on a pew close, like high above it, right? Uh, you're kind of in... I'm right close between, to that fire, right? Yeah, you're, you're five feet away from the fire in between the pew. All right. Pee on the fire. Are you going to pee on the fire? Pee on the fire. <laughs> uh, i got a hearty stream. Uh, hold on. Let's see. <laughs> We're going to roll. We're going to roll. A D4. Oh, okay. We'll call it a D2 to see. Oh, we're going to D4. Yeah, we'll call it a D2 to see how many days since you've. Act, how much water you have. Okay. You only have a. Two. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, you're. So that's four days. Your stream is pathetic. It's just like. Pathetic? Yeah, yeah. You can't. It's like. Have you ever like drank for like three days straight and you're just like. You're so dehydrated. It's fireman's hose. No, you're, you're so dehydrated. It's coming out like it's fucking. No, it's all over the bar. It's like, it's like, <laughs> like three days straight. It also and it's drip drip. Also, it totally burns while you pee. And <laughs> your, your your attempt to put out uh, the fire is pathetic, and all you can do is maybe move left. You you have a move. Or attack, but you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I move right inside that circle. Uh, you want to go over there? <laughs> yep. Uh, you got to jump over the thing again. Make me a roll. You back. got it. Grab That's my spear. You want it? Grab you my got it. Freaking 13. 13. Right. Uh, <laughs> that one on the. That's, you, you trip and fall and you're. Laying on your so face. I fell inside it. Uh, no, your 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 head is inside the the circle, perhaps your shoulders. So, so I couldn't trickle the trickle, but I did the tumble and stumble. Well, you rolled a twenty to jump over. Remember you rolled the d twenty? I said it's a fourteen because you're doing a sweet move after peeing. You try to do it back and you, boom, and smack your face down. You look like a fool. Um, uh, who over here? Tark is like looking right at you. Yeah, I saw it. You've like you like smacked your nose. You got a bit of a nosebleed. Uh, that's your move. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna go over to the, to the first thing, I'm gonna go to the skeleton, retrieve my spear out of it. Uh, re the retrieve down, your spear out of the down skeleton. You're gonna move over there? Yeah. Yep. yep. Got your spear. Yep, got my spear back. Got it. Um, so, but I'm inside the circle. you're saying if I wanna, if I wanna heal um, Pantia, I, it's two rounds? Uh, um, with your medicine chest? Yes. This is not time, for, you have to like pull things out and put things oh. together. Yes. I mean, you could do it, but like... Just say that. It's not Fine. gonna work out well. I mean, um, okay. Then I'm going to wheel around. I'm gonna look down to Panty and be like, stay by the front door, stay out of it. We'll call you if you need ya. Okay. Slowly yeah. slugs its way outside, makes it almost open door. Yeah. That's it. Um, and at this point, is there anything really... Can I do any more movement? Because I'll walk back towards the golem. I mean, I'll give you a tiny little bit of movement. Left. Oh, actually, could I roll, read a scroll? Yeah, you can read a scroll. All right. I'm going to read the Tongue of Iris. A creature of your choice is confused for 10 minutes. I'm going to confuse the shit out of whatever that meat monster okay. is. Roll a presence. B to 12. All right. It's eight. Eight. No, you lose two hit points. To my hit points. Do you lose two hit points? And the, what? the scroll fails miserably. <laughs> no. It, is, Rough. it turns to dust in your hand and is lost forever. Oh shit! I I need to use the medicine chest. Uh, okay. Rough. Oh god. Uh, the rolls went from we? real good to real not good. Okay. Uh, Just gonna the hang out there, lick my wounds for a bit. Um, he is still faced. We're running. We're running out of time here, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, I'm right beside you. He, <laughs> the big bad guy, will jump up. Back. What? He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna jump ah. back up on in, onto his altar. Crap. What? And I hold. roll to defend. Two daggers. F E M. Hokey do. Roll to defend. Uh, 18 plus one is 19. Okay, yeah, you, he definitely misses you. Uh, on his second attack, he is going to try to grapple you, uh, make an agility. Oh, not beat the grab. 14. Uh, an agility beat 14? Yeah, beat 14. <laughs> nope. 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 Okay. Five. He manages with one swing, comes back, 
jumps on the thing, swings backhand, you duck underneath it. With the other, you don't notice the other hand coming around you. He grabs you and shoves you into <gasps> his rib cage. Oh now, dear. Uh, Very upset. Resist! Resist! No, you're in there. Oh no. <laughs> My <laughs> eyes go wide and I'm just shouting. No, you're in there. <laughs> uh, guys, little help. Little help. Uh, that Can we hear her? Or is, that's his move. Can we hear her or is she? Uh, I still mean, alive? Yeah, you know that she's in there. But can we hear but her? But still alive. Yeah, she's still alive. Okay. You're not dead. <laughs> Did that hit for any like hit points or am I just being not absorbed? At the you're just being held. That is. Ew. Okay, oh, yeah, you're, that's but, like, so slowly, yucky. Like, <laughs> like the, the meat is slowly kind of like working. Oh, that's some annihilation. Like here. the trash impact? Uh. Like, as well. Like, I immediately uh, start panicking about my detachable eyes. Yep. Um, super worried about your eyes. Okay. Um, good thing is, it's your turn. Get out. <laughs> um, uh, good thing, also, w while you're in there, um, you feel the, the virgin skull pressed up against your back, though. Ooh. Oh. Just so you know. Have an opportunity. Thank okay. You. Uh, ahead. Grab the skull and chuck so it out. So, remembering my, my previous experiences with uh, bowling ball skulls, mm -hmm. Can I can I move my hand behind, grab the skull, make an agility check, and it's gonna be tough. Okay. See how? Oh, oh you're a pale one. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna drop it down. Okay. Make it, roll me a twenty. I botched it. Oh no! Did you really? I did. Okay. Uh, you try to <laughs> move. Uh, you get. You try to feel something in your back. Yeah. And as you try to work your weird alien arms back there, um, it gets caught and your shoulder gets pulled fucking backwards and Ouch. you take... Do you only have one omen? Take two, yep. two, two damage. Oh. Ouch. Okay. Yucky. No like and the no thank you. No. Uh, and uh, that's probably your move, I guess. You're... Oh, uh, on your turn, uh, make me a, sorry, yeah, uh, it's not like I can move uh, now. Yeah, can, I, I, can that be my movement? And can uh, I make a strength. No, one more time. Make a, a strength roll. Strength roll. You can't make a move. You're being grappled. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Twenty, not natural. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the that. eye roll. I was like, oh, you're a little free. Mm -hmm. You pull yourself free. <laughs> Are you freaking like kidding you? me? Yeah, you're covered in grossness and but you're and stunned and dazed, but you're out of his grapple. I love your uh, That is your turn. Uh, okay. Elizabeth. Uh, I'm going to run towards him since he didn't want to fight me the first time and ran away from me, so I'm going to run towards him. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to get up here. Yeah. Run, I'm just going to swing at them ankles with them flail again. Swing at them ankles. I rolled a three. Oh no! <laughs> you missed terribly. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it looks bad. I'll kind of just swing, and then I'll just just lower it to the ground, and then just stand there, yeah. and then just like look up like this. Yeah, it, you, you feel and you, you feel a wave arm, of you feel a wave of shame. <laughs> you feel a wave of shame come over you. And, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I thought it was better than this, but maybe I'm not. Perhaps I'm just as bad as everyone says I am. <laughs> Uh, who's next? Uh, dump truck. Okay, uh, I'm in that circle. I tumbled. I stand yeah. up. You gotta get up. Uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, that will be most your movement to get up. Just to stand up. Most of it. Am I in it? You're kind of in it, yeah. But it doesn't matter. Oh, we're not getting there. Okay. Getting there. Well, <laughs> I aim that crossbow right at gold skull grossness. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, make a beat of fourteen. With your agility. Add agility. Because it's a little bit far for you. Natural fucking 20! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, really, really. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, with, dude. With that, uh, yes. roll some damage. Uh, so, yeah, D8. D8? <laughs> One. <laughs> uh, and there is balance in the yeah, There is uh, balance. It, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it hits the virgin skull. Yeah. And again, <laughs> bounces off. Okay. Um, it hit directly, but did no damage. <laughs> really close. 
You guys are really close. That would have done it. If you didn't roll a one, yeah. you would have killed him. Ah! ah. <laughs> or almost, you, we, we would be very close. Okay, who's next? Let's get this done. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Lark. I'm gonna take my spear and I'm gonna. Oh, you have your spear. Yeah, uh, have you're not, it won't reach. It won't reach? You okay. You need to move. I'm gonna run uh, run up towards it then, okay. to the to the base of the stairs. The, the, yeah, yeah. Up there. staying just out of like grapple range. Yeah, he's, he can't grab. Well, I mean, until he jumps down on top. Yeah. Yeah. But you can hit him with your spear. Yeah. Uh, do you grapple. want to throw? You want to throw it, or you want to keep it in your hands? Uh, I'll keep it in my hands. Because that just... means you have to get into grapple range. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw it. You gonna throw it? Yeah. Throw because it. Because the next thing, if I, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll even give you a, a little bit longer so you could mm -hmm. stay farther out of the grapple range. Yeah. Throw All it. Right. Nine. Nine misses horribly. Ah! It smashes. It flies through. Uh, pings off the thing, and it's now down behind the altar here. Well, uh, shit. I wish that donkey was still here to do something. Yeah, that donkey I, I tell you really helped. Yeah, I do miss the donkey. Yeah. It had my smokes. What about your dog? What is it doing? That's, uh, it's bad guy's turn now. Um, still sniffing out treasure. He is I'm more effective. To, uh, <laughs> he's just going to keep whapping at FEM here. He's right in front of him. He's Don't gonna, brash? Uh, he's going to just attack you. Roll to defend. Uh, ten. Ten. Fails. Uh, he does... Rough. Bye, Ash. Bye. <laughs> he does four points of damage. Uh, minus... One. D2. Yeah. But still, I only have one hit point, so, so that... you are now dead. <gasps> Uh, yes. how, how much negative damage? <laughs> uh, he's your negative one damage. Yep. You are dead. Yeah. I'm actually uh, can I, weirdly excited that I died. Uh, Someone had yeah, to yay. die. Yeah. Someone died. Yes. Uh, he manages, he swings low and just these like giant claws like pierce through your guts this time. Yeah. A whole chunk of you and just sends you flying. Uh, we're going to say you fly. Fly. Broken. Oh, not broken, because that means you have a chance. But the body is crumbled, and actually, you smack up against the post of the confessional and lay there dead. Should have confessed. Yay! Yeah. 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 We're almost. He's got. Come on, guys. He's got. Like, going for Bismuth next. Yeah. He's got three. That. That's his. We're gonna say uh, he's gonna jump down. <laughs> in the middle yeah. of the circle. All right. And yeah, I'll, that's I'll, his move. I'll run at him. Uh, I know it's Ash's. It's uh, your turn. But I'm dead. Oh, you're dead. You're right. Bye. Yeah, so Bismuth. <laughs> For my final Bismuth. request, he yeah. has eyeballs that were found in my gut stuck to his claws. Sure, yeah. Right. And the rest of them kind of <laughs> spill across the floor like like marbles. Like Josh's dice earlier on. <laughs> Perfect. I will run at him. Just the eye patch. Pull on straight, charge right at him. Got him. Flail just swinging above my head as I run. Get him. Put him down. Natural 20. <gasps> 20. Okay. What? Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> As long as you don't roll a one on damage, <laughs> you kill them. That's a four. Okay. All right. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> you come down, hero of the day. You come down. Come yeah. do some sweet jumps. Huh. Uh. It sees you coming, and you man you swing down, striking right through its abdomen where the virgin's skull is. Uh, you end up coming down. Boom! Smacking the virgin. You hit it so hard, the virgin's skull is knocked loose of the body, drops to the ground. Um, rolls slightly off to the side, and the rest of the creature just, it's like an avalanche of dead bodies. Just, there's, it, there's nothing holding it together. All onto the floor. Yeah, it just turns into sludge at this point. It just splatters yeah. all over the place. Um, you now have the virgin skull. Ooh. Uh, and pretty much have at least secured your soul to get to the shimmering fields. Sweet. Uh, or at least you think you have. Turk, let's get him! <laughs> <laughs> Hobbling over there, being like, don't forget right. how we all uh, work really hard together, make right? Everybody a presence check. <laughs> 12. Three. Dead. 10. <laughs> Dead. Um, with a 12, you reach out and you, you, you glancing at this gilded golden uh, skull with glowing eyes and stuff yeah. like that. Um, once it's been pulled from the beast, uh, you've noticed that the eyes no longer glow. Oh. And reaching out with that presence check, 
he could feel that whatever god was guarding the shimmering fields is no longer guarding the shimmering fields <gasps> um, and there is no one there with us with us with a stealthy perk all my presence and agility tests are reduced to, uh, by 2 though uh yeah presence presence and agility okay well i mean like what would, what would that give you what would your roll be there i would have rolled 10 Okay, well, I mean... So I made it. Yeah, well, the skull, the, the virgin skull is useless. I collapse uh, down on the ground and I bang awesome. my fist and I was, say, there awful. is no god! No, there, that literally, <laughs> there is, that god that was mm -hmm. guarding the Shimmering Fields is no longer. It has probably been devoured by Stand the by basilisk. What the happened to Bismuth? Basilisks. Mm -hmm. Bismuth. Uh, he knocked. He he's, he got the skull. He knocked the skull out of the. Mm -hmm. He knocked the skull out of the thing. Hold it in my hand. But you yeah. got the skull. But worthless. the skull. So it's is, worthless. Is garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The I, god, the, the god that controlled that skull. The only thing keeping that skull working inside the bone golem, yeah. as it was, was a power mm -hmm. that was not of the shimmering fields. I clutch my son tightly to my breast and I this say. This was life for nothing. Well. Fuck me. It ended how I thought it would end. So, at least we're together in the end. At least you have one friend. Well, who's hungry? Come on, Pantia. Uh, I'll just take practice. the skull and I'll say, Wheezy, catch. And I'll I mean, it's, it's probably worth some money. Yeah, the dog can have it. It's gold. And as the final light <laughs> rings. It's worth way more than that. It's, it's like, at least physically, it's worth, it's still a priceless object. It mm -hmm. just doesn't work. I don't have a donkey anymore. My dog's gonna carry my wares. I go. Well, I mean, the donkey's out farking around out yeah. in the field somewhere. I go whistle to Pantia and I'm, Pantia, eat that meat sack. It's, 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 it's just barely made its way out the door. Like, uh, uh, and then it slowly is making its way back. It'll take it like an hour by the time it gets back to the giant oh, I'll the, be in the, the confession booth. The not going anywhere. I'm gonna uh, take a nap. Yeah, it's yeah. good. <laughs> um, you beat the big bad guy, only one of you died at the very end. And as the last of the light drains out of my eyes, mm. and I notice that none of my comrades have even noticed that I've fallen, <laughs> I realize that Which I eyes? never actually had any friends at all. What a great moral to this. Welcome last to Mork Park. That's why I only trust my teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's Mork Park. Uh, I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, We did it. Uh, uh, again. Uh, Thanks to everyone involved, all the cast, obviously, all the crew, uh, set deck, sound, lights, camera, makeup, all makeup, costume, makeup, oh, yeah, sure. makeup. Come on, makeup. Yeah. Look yeah. at these beautiful faces. Look at this. this. Fantastic. What, like, I've never had really. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. It looks like <laughs> got some something in there. And I got to lick it. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. It smells it sour. Good lick. It tastes uh, amazing. Catch us every Tuesday at three thirty on Twitch uh, at a filthy lot. Dot TV and, and also on uh, when we go on YouTube uh, a couple days later we'll be on YouTube. I'm so Questline. Everyone. Yeah, Questline. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Questline on YouTube. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. We did. That we did, did we have a lot of fun? Yeah. Yes, damn straight. Sure uh, this is it was pretty my good. second. This is only my second time ever running a game, so I'm still. I love all these you models. Like, who yeah. built all these yeah. models? Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Who built these models? Holy yeah. mackerel. Thanks, Tim and Josh. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so thank you, everybody. Uh, it has been an absolute pleasure, and uh, I really want to do it again. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Thank, thank you so you. much, Andrew. For doing it.